be on the internet. What's up, everybody? I don't know who's here. Languid Magpie. I don't know if you're still here, Hello. but how's it going? Hello, Magpie. That All is right. that is one of the one of the goons. One of the goons. <laughs> <laughs> I'm gonna assume everybody tonight is one of your goons. That's just the All right, bad, bad, bad. <laughs> the nature of it. Let me okay, well. drop the link here. Brack, uh, beginner bracket begins in about ten minutes. Solid bones. Solid bones. All one word. There's actually a really funny story to why it's all one word. It used to have an underscore. Oh, um, what's the what story? So the story is that one time Sajam accidentally changed his Twitch username. Um, and when you do that, it changes all of your emote aliases. Um, ah. And he didn't want to lose the Sajam e emote alias. So I got asked to change, try to change my Twitch name to Sajam to hold it. Um, <laughs> but I couldn't. <laughs> I could only change it. Uh, I tried to, and it didn't let me. And then through a series of attempting to do different things, it just wound up being solid bones, all one word. And now, now we're here. <laughs> you know what? If it okay, works, it works. It uh, works. I don't know, man. I, I, I appreciate the underscore signs, but... Oh, wait. I gotta... I gotta... I gotta... Where is it? Okay, whatever. I wasn't sure just you were sneezing. Just... Okay, you were no, sneezing. I was out to I sneeze. Know. I was out to sneeze. <laughs> Jade... <laughs> Uh, JD, thank you very much for the big 23 months. How's it going, everybody? I see a lot of the Jin Goon Squad in chat. Uh, I appreciate <laughs> all of you hanging out. I don't know. Is that disparaging or is that affectionate? I'm not sure. Oh, no. It's it's fine. They are they are goons. They're, they're brats. That's what they are. They're, they're the brats. brats? Yeah, that's not. You can't say bless you. She didn't actually sneeze. That's just that's a <laughs> false bless you. I don't know how that works. Hey, if it's a, it's a fake bless you, you know. Something's gonna happen to you. I don't know what. I don't know the details. I mean, true. <laughs> but... I just don't know if you want to walk around going "bless your soul" to every individual exactly. you meet. Someone, someone like burps or something. You can't just be like "bless you." <laughs> yeah, no, that's a little aggressive. That that sounds like it's like you're encouraging them, right? <laughs> like, exactly. Keep doing exactly. that, kid. How's it going, everybody? <laughs> by the way, welcome to uh, this week's beginner bracket. I will be talking a little bit more about it um, when we get started. But just so you know. The bracket is not finalized yet. It's going to finalize in just about five minutes. Uh, if you're on the wait list, that is when everybody who didn't check in is going to get booted out, and then the wait listers will get shifted on into the bracket. Um, so in five minutes, the bracket will be finalized. So you also, none of you know who you're fighting yet, so don't get too excited. Uh, if you see who you're matched up with in bracket, uh, that is not important information just yet. Um, but my name is Solid Bones. I hope all of you are big chilling. I am joined here by Jin Kitsu. Jin, how are you doing tonight? I'm doing pretty well. I'm just vibing, ready to watch some good Guilty Gear tonight. Heck yeah. Always excited to just do a little, little spectating, a little commentating. Been practicing a lot lately. Oh yeah. So to hear that. I uh, I don't know why I asked you to introduce yourself because I think I'm outnumbered here. I'm pretty sure most of the viewers nah, at this nah, moment nah. are the good guy. <laughs> I think uh... it's fine. It's it's a formality. <laughs> Well, let me just say also, if you've never heard of me, hi, my name is Solid Bones. Um, I commentate Guilty Gear and Street Fighter. I commentate Guilty Gear a lot. You may have seen me at Evo, uh, where I was commentating there, but I've done a whole lot of different stuff. Um, I just really like video games, and I think they're neat. And so this is going to be our... Jack, why are you saying sol hi, Solid Bones? You were here last week. Shut up. <laughs> um... Oh my god, the Jack. The Starstruck. Jack uh so for those of you who don't know this is going to be our 26th beginner bracket in case you're wondering what the heck a beginner is there's some guidance on that for uh in the challenge if you uh look in there and there's also uh stuff in there for whiskey who subscribed for the big 13 months thank you so so much uh there's stuff in there about what we describe as a beginner generally it's a 1600 or below elo cutoff which you can check on the website uh rating update um, but it's also a bit fuzzier than that. Uh, I look through everybody who enters each week. Uh, frankly, if you have like 2000 games played and you're sitting at like 1550 ELO, I'm going to look at you sideways and probably ask you to take the L for the week and shoot out of the bracket. <laughs> uh, because I think you're just a cut above, uh, what we see as a beginner level. That being said, Jin, I believe, um, I, you may be aware of this, but do you know that we have a prize for first, second, third place? A prize? A prize. What's the prize? So the prize is that first, second, third place uh, get the honor and privilege of never playing in this bracket again because they are banned oh for life. Uh, so if you <laughs> place in one, two, or three, you're out of here for good. 
uh, you have graduated. But that being said, we've done some early graduations. We have expanded the range to be top four occasionally, if number four is clearly also very strong. Um, mm-hmm. And also, I'm gonna not, I'm not gonna lie. If we uh, see you in the bracket and we think you're a little good, we're gonna slap a diploma in your hand and kick you out the door. Very rare do we do that, um, but it's all in the effort of trying to make this uh, like a good fun time for people learning and stuff, and not just you know don't put on your gamer sweatband if you've got four thousand game Nagoriyuki and be like I'm ready to learn. <laughs> Uh, I bet uh, I bet fifteen ninety nine, and I play Happy Chaos. Let me in. <laughs> yeah, exactly right. I, I mean, you know what's funny? Happy Chaos is probably one of the rarest characters that we have in beginner bracket. I think we've only had one who's placed in top eight, if I don't misremember. Um, mm-hmm. He's just hard. It, I think he's like one of the hardest characters to get to an even somewhat functioning level <laughs> where you're like. I gotta a say, we. Um, I mean, last you know, last week I I was watching a bit. I was watching along and looking around, and you know, don't have a lot of happy chaos. Don't have a lot of Zato just because. Um, not very beginner friendly characters. I also, feel. the Zatos get banned. I'm not. I, there's no put good way really? to put it. The Zatos are. They show up one week and they're like, "I'm here to play," <laughs> and they play second. And it's like, "Thanks for playing." <laughs> <laughs> Appreciate it. Um, he's just. I think Zato's a character. I think he's easier to get online than Happy Chaos is my hot take. But I uh-huh. think once you have a good grasp on your Zato. Boy, they they need to learn, right? It, they if they do not have experience in that matchup, they're dead. <laughs> like there's no. Oh, for way. sure. You know, a bit of a knowledge check getting, um, when you're at, whenever you're put in the corner by Zato, it's it's scary. It's visually pretty overwhelming. I feel, and I think a lot of people aren't super used to that. Yeah, no, 100%. It's, uh, it's like, immediately scary, I think, but once you develop a simple game plan... We say this, like, every week, um, but offense is always the big thing that develops first in fighting games, right? And Strive uh-huh. is no exception. So, like, a lot of times in the beginner brackets, you'll see people, and it's like, how is this person a beginner? They just rolled that guy over. And it's like, yeah, anybody can run away with a game once you understand your character. Defending and stuff is the really hard part. That's what makes you consistent. So, oh, sure. It's always fun to see, like, a, but a character like Zato, especially, you know, if your offense is sick, nasty for real, for real, they're dead. <laughs> they're oh yeah, you know, I think that whatever people pick up in character or something like, that, one of the first things they do is like, okay, what do I do? How do I Gatlin them? How do I combo, etc., cetera, etc. Cetera. And so, um, it's 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 scary. Like Zato, Zato, if if he gets you know a hit or two off on you, then you just get tossed and um, thrown around <laughs> by by him and Eddie. Yeah, no, I mean you're you're so getting frogged, you're getting sharked. It's it's not a good time out there. Lost at sea, lost at sea against Sato. <laughs> <laughs> so I think if everybody refreshes the big bracket now, I think it should be um should be finalized now, or it's going to be in like a couple seconds. Um, so you should be able to double check and see if you are in the bracket tonight. Uh, we do have a lot of receding players, which is awesome to see. We've also got a ton of new people. Uh, if you are new, because I know Sayjam said the word beginner bracket at some point in a YouTube video, which means one billion people are going to sign up. Uh, welcome. How's it going? <laughs> um, and then also, if you're here, if you're one of the Jin gang, then you are also welcome here. Th- thanks you for coming. Uh, but yes, uh, this is going to be kicking off in just a little bit. Uh, if you don't know how this is going to operate, everybody, uh, we stream two rounds for, um, or sorry, we stream two games from each round of winner's bracket, right? So if you're in winners, wait to find out. Sig is going to be posting in the tournament channel in the Sage Jam Discord, uh, running the whole bracket in the background. Uh, Sigwin is going to post, like, these two people are going to be on stream. Uh, these two people are going to be on stream. Everybody else play, right? If you get the go-ahead to play, go do it. Um, if you drop down to losers, you get to play up until top eight. Uh, we won't see you until top eight. And, and for anybody in advance who's going to go 0-2, good stuff. I hope you get to then go play some video games and chill out after 0-2 champions. Keep it going. And Zio keeps it going with the big one month. Thank you so much, Zio. I appreciate it. Just kind of throw it out there, you know, if it's your first time ending, you go O2, like getting that tournament experience, you know, getting past those nerves to enter something and pin one, I think that's a huge win right there. It's a huge W. I think uh, uh, some of the biggest value I think people get out of joining this is just understanding how a bracket operates, so it's not this big, mysterious thing anymore. <laughs> oh, for sure. You know, you see it, you see all those names, it's like, oh my god, how does, you know, how does heaven bracket hell bracket work, winners, losers, or whatever, and it's like, you know, just... It's it's pretty streamlined, you know. As you know, I did play. Uh, I played it last week. I got a I got a one too. Um, o two gang. Did like. It's it's uh it's fun. It's fun. It it organized super well and. 
Well, thank you. Just, that was unnecessarily kind oh, of yeah, you. You well. can be meaner on the mic. It's okay. Oh, no. I'm not, I'm not about to, like, cook you on the mic in front of everyone. But. <laughs> <laughs> uh, Jin, just before we get started, you are kind of uh, doing the stuttery thing again a little bit. If you wanted to try to oh, kick shit. something. I'm not sure what. Um, Maybe I need to get close to my mic. Is, is this better? It could be better. Uh, I'm not sure. You know, it's really, it's messed up that I need to physically get closer to my mic on camera and you just, like, zoom in your model slightly. This is <laughs> not a fair world. Oh, yeah. VTuber privilege, am I right? <laughs> <laughs> we were just talking about this because she was like, I got to go put on a jacket. And I was like, you're already wearing one. This sucks. Like, I, I have to... <laughs> it changes the whole drip if I put on a hoodie or something. You know, I don't have to worry about my hair. I don't worry about any of that. I'm just... I just... You know, put the iPhone there, and I'm working. I'm, I'm, I'm schmoovin'. <laughs> yeah, it's, it's just, it's not fair at all. It's, I don't like it. I was just, I was complaining about it because before we went live, I was like, you know, when we go live, usually I like have something on screen so that I'm not on camera because I'm not like ready yet or I'm walking around. And you, it doesn't matter. You can just be doing whatever, and you just have, the, yeah, you just do the little dip out like that. It's easy peasy. <laughs> exactly. You know, just. And, you know, people screenshot the funny faces that I make when I'm AFK. It's, it all works. It all works. The whole thing. Whoa. We have a first match of the night already, everybody. Can you believe it? It's going to be T-Girl Dizzy versus Punk Princess. Word. We got some Bridget and Kai action. The two blondes. I'm looking for this. They actually uh, got similar eye color, similar hair color. Definitely a, I would say, a pretty different game plan, though. <laughs> yeah, pretty different. It's funny. I think both these characters are pretty overall well-rounded. Oh, we're playing the song for a bit today. We're grooving. I hope that doesn't mean somebody's playing on a toaster, but, I, you know, hopefully everything's oh, going yeah. good. <laughs> Should be all good, hopefully. I'm gonna let the intro be. But yeah, both these characters, I think, are pretty dang well-rounded. I almost just want to say Bridget has uh, a lot of similar sort of just like uh, has a DP, um, has good buttons. Um, but it feels like Bridget traded health and damage for range, right? Whereas Kai is just that real all-rounder dude. Obviously, Kai can explode damage off the right hit, but let's see how it goes here. T-Girl, Dizzy going up. Oh, the big counter to us immediately. You can see they're definitely, definitely respecting each other, trying to trying to get a feel for what the other's going to do. But you're going to be getting the yo-yo out. Oh. Getting the counter hit. Big skirt, up skirt. and... Ooh, yeah. good yeah. DP. It's the first round of the tournament, Jin. You got a DP. It's the, I don't like getting oh, knocked down. Oh, for sure. Every single knockdown, you got a DP. That, I was going to say, I thought that was going to be a punish. Punk Princess just hit that from pretty high up. I don't know if they thought they were going over. Usually, I think Bridges want to go for the JS and jump ins like that because it hits twice and ensures it's not that minus. That hit a fireball. Not quite a completion, but T-Girl, you got to be careful also. T-Girl's got 50 bucks. There's a stun dipper RC in your future. Oh, for sure. Once that... Oh, oh getting kind of hit with the... Junkie, you're saying those JS's and Bridget is so scary when when she's throwing out the five, the five each combo and Kai, Kai playing a little definitely on the back foot here. I feel Bridget's definitely oh oh no RC coming off the Sun Dipper, but yeah, T Girl's got a hundred bucks. You gotta wonder if there was some way to kill that. Try to six P through the yo. <gasps> oh, 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 wait, wait, did he get hit? Did he get hit? Did he get hit? Okay, he won. Oh, I oh. actually wasn't sure. I was like, wait, that's like a bunch of hits. Holy smokes, dude. Oh, you gotta go for those supers. Those are the hype supers. <laughs> <laughs> Sacred Edge is real good and neutral. If you've got a hundred bucks burning a hole in your pocket right now, there's a lot of worse things you can do than just shooting a oh, Sacred Edge sure. at it. <laughs> hopefully, hopefully we'll be seeing a, a dragon install tonight. Always super hyped to see those. As, oh my goodness. I want to say we've beam. only seen one. Oh, immediately goes for oh, the air scoop. <laughs> okay, T-Girl's a gamer. Big 6P. Lock him down like the corner. Do it again. The 6P. <laughs> Listen, if it... <laughs> oh, it's working! Dang it. A really good grab there, but oh! <laughs> Alright, dude, I've seen- I've seen Kai's win us. Did he the juggle team. that 2k2d, punishing a DP? Oh, Sacred Edge again! That's gonna oh hit! That's in so much damage! Killing machine right back oh, at Roger! you, dude! <laughs> we use a meter from full screen. Oh, yeah. Roger going and running over Kai. Bringing them into the third round. <laughs> oh. oh, this is- this is good. This is some good game right here. This is a good way to start it off. This is some good as beginner bracket. Ooh, the run up. I like the run up grab there because A, it's a Kai player. Run up and grab him. Pisses him off. Rock the baby. Oh, sure. Okay, oh, I expect right. a DP. The baby. Every Rocking day the of the week, there's oh. a DP there, Jin. <laughs> I'm liking it. I'm liking what I'm seeing. <gasps> oh, again, run up. Man, what's that? I wonder if those 6Ks were accidental, if those were meant to be stun dippers, uh, would be my guess. I don't know if there's a lot of tactical reason. 6P, there's a stun dip though. Okay, you got a pressure. 
It's the okay, R. Okay, Red Icy with the DP. I'm gonna be sending Kai to the screen tonight. I, I mean, listen, I'm not a Kai player, but I know be going that far against a Bridget is pretty scary. Tossing out Roger, keeping the pressure up. I like D Girl using the, uh, the whatchamacallit, the uh, FD there, though, to kind of minimize the chip on the killing machine, but the Flippy Dippy is gonna get hit by the Yo Yo Chuck, and Punk Princess is gonna put only the first game on the board. That was a grind of a match. <laughs> oh man, I'm so excited to watch these games, and. Okay, Brid Bridget's looking a little different on my screen, but you know, Bridget, definitely. <laughs> I'm scared as to what that means. Oh, no, 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 no. She's, she's just a cat girl. She's a, a little cat girl. No, <laughs> no, no, it's fine. It's fine. She's a cat girl. She's a little cat girl. But no, it's fine. It's fine. <laughs> Listen, she's telling you, Jade, one of the cutest girls in this game. And that's saying something considering the uh, the Guilty Gear lineup, you know. <laughs> It is currently oh one Punk Princess. For the record, everybody, this is first to two uh, up until winners finals, losers finals, grand finals. A lot of you might think, hey, Strive is usually first to three. Why is yours first to two? The answer is because it's a Monday night and I got to go to bed. Um, <laughs> so we just try to we try to have a pretty fast tournament for the sake of the beginner bracket. Uh, got to check the opponent's connection. You know, we've got our team dispatched right now uh, under the transatlantic cable. They're underwater in the scuba suits. It is oh, all good. Oh no! Oh, uh, we lost connection. They're on. Wait, you lost connection? Oh, wait. oh, shit. Wait, okay. It's fine. I can watch on... <laughs> oh, yeah. Wait, wait. Okay, hold on. If You can watch on my stream. So, Jin is operating on delay-based commentary. It's all good. I'll still get hyped with you. <laughs> I'm glad, Jin. Right, that's your 5k. Okay, so T-Girl's actually able to get the offense started a little bit here. Gets the throw. CSZ. Punk Princess trying to defend. I like the FD there uh, quite a lot to just try to nullify that chip. And also, I think it's pushed back quite a bit farther for it. So, T-Girl didn't get quite enough. Both these people are dash block gamers, which is so interesting to me. It's like, Uniclear is that way. <laughs> yeah, I mean, definitely have to be looking for those dash blocks. I feel you get a Kai thrown out projectiles, Kai oh. thrown out videos. It's, ooh, that pretty, pretty on it. With the dire, ooh. The run up throw, the Kyle special. You know, every time a Kyle lands a run up throw, an angel gets their wings. That The T girl is uh. popping off. Okay, one round down the pipe. T girl's looking quite a bit stronger, I think. Oh, for sure. I don't know, man. I always say, you know, you have Potemkin, but, you know, Kyle, the other grabber of this game. Kyle, they grab. They will unabashed. <laughs> yes, they, they will grab every day of the week, all the time. Okay, gets the Stun Dipper. Yeah, okay, nice tech on that throw. That was a little risky, though. Yeah, I think if you mess up, you, you eat a lot of damage. Kai, Kai, once he gets you in the corner, is able to fish out a lot between the Diaclats and the, the Fondue Ice. Able to hit the hunt. And, and also able to get these run up from full screen back throws. <laughs> RC side oh, swap man. from Punk. Well, back throw Winston and Jin. Please call this number if you're not satisfied oh, with your back throw man. experience. Listen, those back throws there. You can, no matter how many times you throw them out, they just go, oh my god, what a good first block. And it, it will keep up the pressure. Throwing the red IC out there. Not the, the little K. Yeah, it was a good block on the burst. Unfortunately, Princess kind of threw their burst in the garbage. But there we go. We're going to get a Stun Dipper RC for the first time. Oh, the JS hit from so high up sniping. <laughs> Punk Prince is not letting this little hit go over. Uh, definitely still playing pretty confidently. And, you know, that's what I like to see. Oh, I think trying to RC that JK to be cheeky and get something off him. But Punk Princess still has a pixel. The two has finds oh it, dude. All they had to do was oh. cut their big toe there. There was there was no Bridget left. There was nothing. <laughs> oh, for sure. You know, you only had you only had a little brisket left, and Kai taking that final bite. Definitely able to close that match out. Yeah, it takes the big bite I'm, of the brisket. I'm, yeah. <laughs> Tell you those are. Uh... All right. Okay. It looks like I'm getting back in there, but uh. We're back in. We now have rollback yeah, netcode, uh, Jin commentary. <laughs> oh, hell. I'm feeling so powerful. <laughs> you know, I think that, uh, when you get to those last little pixels of health, it's it's scary. You know, you try to go for a hit, you get kind of hit, and you get schmixed by by the bridge. And, oh, opening up with a, is that 2S? I'm, I'm still not too familiar with all of the moves, but. Sorry, yeah, but the, we, uh, you know, the good old nerd notation. It's just, it's crashing to us. If it's the one that reaches full screen, it's Kai's to us. <laughs> okay, yeah. I've been on the receiving end of that one quite a lot, so. Bro, and empty jump throw? <laughs> Are you playing Street Fighter? These Kai players discuss. Dude, this, uh, it feels like throwing is the name of the game in this set. 
I mean, I, it's I good. I do want to say, <laughs> good, good choice of music. Definitely a good block. Beautiful stuff. I, you know, I really like T-Girl. It feels like they've really developed a game plan live, right? They've... That, oh, wow, sure. that's just gonna straight kill. Jeez, Brisket Bridge has no health. Uh, like, T-Girl has been like, okay, if you yo-yo, I'm gonna stun dip, right? That's gonna be the mm -hmm. the call and response. Oh and really my goodness, it. Run, run <laughs> I'm telling you, dude. And I mean, I, I'm no expert. I'm pretty sure that does a uh, stun dipper go below Bridget's yo-yos? Uh, yes, it will. Uh, Sun Dipper goes oh. below everything. Oh. You are Barbados Slim. That was a little bit of an aggressive use of meter, but you know, Punk Princess, sometimes you gotta do it. I get it. Trying to eke out a little bit of damage. I think they might have been going for the red RC there, and oh man, the... she is scooting in. Yeah, the scoot jump is gonna take it. So we're now, the first match of the night, everybody, double Luigi between these two gets the counter hit. That could have been a huge amount of damage. Getting the first early. And Bridget, you know, with how low her health is, she might be looking at no burst for the rest of this round. Yeah, right. That's always a consideration. People with, like, Potemkin can kind of get another burst usually pretty consistently. Rock the Baby's gonna connect! Oh. That's a tone setter. Which is gonna be putting up her pressure, and you can see that Kai is definitely going for the... Oh my goodness! And, oh man, that is... Oh, the DP! You gotta go for this hero DPs, man. You really have to. Oh, the Falling JS still connects! Okay, uh, the T-Girl still got a little bit of life to take this, the oh, dust from the skirt. Oh man, this is oh, no! No! no way! Creech inhibit is coming off FD, the super and Kai is ready to go in! Oh, oh What are you gonna do? What are you gonna do? What's the game plan with Dragon Install? Not quite enough to kill the favorite throws the whips! No, dude! Dragon Install does the only thing it is known to do, Dragon which is make Kai install. players lose. Oh man. Chukumba right there. Dragon install into lose. Man, that was Oh, that was so good. <laughs> first, first match of the night, we get a dragon install. I, I'm, I'm telling you. I'm so hyped for it. That, you said that earlier. I was like, I don't mean to disappoint you, but like, it's just, it's pretty, I don't think we've ever seen a dragon install maybe more than once on a stream, but you know, people tonight rolled up to play. GG's to both of our players there. So unfortunately, uh, our good friend there, Sorry, I lost my little thingy. Our good friend there, T-Girl, is going to be dropping down a loser side of the bracket with the Kyle. We'll see if they can swim on out of there. I already see... You know, it's always so... It's it's slightly, like, sad. So look at the bracket, and it's like, wow, half the people are already in losers. You know that's what's going to happen. But it's like, geez, everybody, I wish yeah, you good you luck down there. Yeah, you see it happen. And it's... it's, it's uh, but yeah, I mean, you know, going to losers, you know, that that doesn't mean getting kicked out. That just means you get your, your shot redemption. You know, some of the coolest comebacks are... Um, been from losers all the way back to grand final. Hundred percent. So next up is going to be uh, G uh, J J D A versus Mac and Me. Good movie. Never seen it. Not much of a movie person, honestly. Uh, it, this is a joke. Mac and Me is one of the worst movies of all time. This is going to be Testament <laughs> versus Giovanna, which are two characters that uh, is interesting. Testament is, I think, they're getting increasingly common uh, for a lot of folks. I mean, everybody still loves Testament. However, oh, for uh, sure. Giovanna is really rare in these beginner brackets. Last week, uh, I'm pretty sure, correct me if I'm wrong, uh, pretty sure Giovanna made it all the way to... Uh, good old Grand Finals last week, but that was incredibly exceptional, as was this big eight months from Red Buffer Man. Thank you so much. What's good, Red Buffer Man? Hope you're going to do well. Ooh, six H in the corner? Concerned. This is a pretty scary matchup for Gia, you know. She um, doesn't have a ton of... Tw oh my goodness, that Ow. six H hits hard. Yeah, Testament 6H is one of those buttons where every time he hits you in it, it's like that much more unsurmountable. Unfortunately, Mac and me is really playing the defensive back, but manages the dog missile through the fireball, though. Lands a taco, actually preying on JDA's reactions there a little bit, because JDA nice. saw they jump. Again, doing it again. Now, you have to imagine JDA is getting a little frustrated. These 6Ps are not hitting them. Oh! Oh, for sure. Oh, man, that's... Oh, I'm getting the stain. What? What? <laughs> <laughs> you are a bet. No! <laughs> <laughs> that's a true combo so is this true combo from toy gift in the big sub the soda thank you so much uh is it wait who's here who's still in the lobby 
We uh, we go take a quick look. Looks like we've still got a. <laughs> who disconnected? If uh, Sig, find out who DC'd and uh, if what that if was, was a thing. Uh, yeah, it looks like it was the Giovanna. The Geo, okay. It disconnected. Um, so. I would say <laughs> I would say Sig that we give the point to JDA there. They had won the first round and then the Geo DC'd. Um, but we can they mm. can come back in. We can play the next one. That sound does that sound fair to everybody else? That doesn't sound like I'm being too mean. But bro, I gotta say that really looked like they blocked the gold burst and they were like, <laughs> oh, no, <laughs> absolutely not. Yeah, dude, I we we've been there getting a gold burst blocked. We should have you know gold burst into all the fords. It's a true combo. I think every character has access to it. But yeah, no, no. <laughs> oh man. <laughs> <laughs> this is a, it's a player exclusive tactic. Oh, that's good. We're good. That's good. That was wild. Okay, Sig is going to be handling that in the background. I'm pretty, but I'd like to see the. Okay, they're back. The Geo player is back in. So it's nice. Sounds dude, good. And it feels like they had to do the walk of shame back up to the monitor <laughs> after blocking yeah. the gold burst and just exploding IRL. They're like, all right, I'm back. <laughs> And that's, that's just unfortunate, honestly. I mean, Black and a Gold first definitely have... Oh, getting the 6P started off. With, oh, man, that meaty Arbiter sign. We've just seen, seen a Testament thrown an Arbiter sign and con having it connected. It, it's a good feeling. But the Dogmas is going to be coming in. Geo putting on the pressure. But Dude. just being pushed back. And, oh, teleporting oh. forward. Then Arbiter sign with another little knockdown. Dogmas are going through the fireball, but not. 2K, 2 Red RC getting stained and no, blocking the dude. first. Oh, man. Disadvantageous. You know what's funny is that Mac and B did a pretty harsh burst last game too. They were down so much and they burst during the combo that was going to kill them. And I'm wondering if JDA mm -hmm. specifically scopes it out there. Because JDA had so much life there that it's like logically you don't bait the burst. But it's like, I have a feeling <laughs> that you're going to burst. Yeah, I mean, I don't know. That's, that's psychological warfare right there. That's scary. Oh, missed the girls. You saw a little 5 oh, piece oh, stick out. <laughs> No, it looks like Tessin's gonna have this one pretty handily, and I, I mean, it's rough out there. It's rough to play G characters you don't like G- Oh, that meaty 6P. <laughs> Dude, that was the- Okay, you are playing Testament, right? First of all, JDA is gonna take a 2-0 there over Mac and me. JDA is looking very, very strong. But I gotta say, mm -hmm. you're playing a character with some real vile pressure, and you did close slash RC, close slash throw. <laughs> What are you doing? <laughs> you, you have all these fun, cool options with stain state and <laughs> fireballs and pokes, and you did close slash RC, close slash throw. Might have to, might have to introduce you to a soul bad guy. I know, right? At least you no, can no, spice I... it up with a little command throw. But no, like, listen, it worked. Right. It totally worked. I'm just kidding. JZA, uh, looking immediately very strong, I think, from... Um, Whatchamacallit, we saw from the good old friend Mac and me, I think that unfortunately they they were trying, really re heavily relying on Dog Missile, but the thing about Geo Dog Missile is even on hit, it's not awesome, right? Like, you're not plus 7 billion, and they were getting, like, mashed out with 2k after or anything like that, even on block where theoretically it's plus and stuff. Um, uh -huh. And I think that that's when you need to start being familiar with like, hey, in this situation, what should I probably go for to beat the other character's options, right? Because I have a feeling like Geo Far Slash probably always loses a Testament 2K there because that boy is Barbado Slim. He's on the ground. You can't hit him. Um, mm -hmm. Maybe going for stuff like 2K or 5K, right? Geo 5K is really good. Um, helping like structure it because ultimately Geo wins there when she gets on top of Testament, right? And it's just a feral dog ripping him apart in the corner. Like that's the game plan. So whatever you need to do to secure that knockdown and get on top of him, it just felt like it unfortunately didn't really happen. Yeah, and I think you know, there's definitely a couple of play uh, not players, pardon me, a couple of characters who have that trouble with uh, characters like Testament and you know, some like a Leo or a, especially a Giovanna, you know, they just don't really have, it's it's hard. They don't have a lot of tools that other characters might have in order to get up on the Testament and um, True. push I mean, them down, them in the corner or something like that. Also, personally, every time I block a fireball, you know, I, I cry so hard I can't play through the tears. So, I mean, that's my personal debuff of Ken's playing with zoners. Um, so, you have to, like, that. Be, Geo has the ability to dash block with the best of them, right? That's a big thing. But I also don't oh, think we sure. really saw any Giovanna 2D in that match, which is critical for helping Geo <laughs> control that neutral. Yeah, I mean, you know, Geo might be missing out on specials, but she's got that. That that 2D is a special. Let's that 2D is a fireball. <laughs> like, it's just straight up. <laughs> that is a Hadouken. Oh my goodness. I, uh, 
getting that, and then, I mean, you know, the classic G game plan, getting you in the throwing out a couple, uh, a couple close slashes, close slash intro. Pretty, pretty common Giovanna combo, but pretty common. I just wasn't, wasn't able to quite get there, and it's, it's all good, it's good. It happens, you know, have those, it's okay, you're not out yet, doesn't lose bracket, you fight back. So next up, Jin, we've got a, quite a combination of two names. You want to hear oh. this? Okay. Hit me. So one player's name is Cheshire, right? Which means that they read their favorite book, Alice in Wonderland. They're like, this book is sick. I'm going to name myself after it, right? Cheshire, a very literary reference. You love to see it. The other person's oh, name yeah. is Maidenless Behavior, which means that they read a funny <laughs> tweet and they were like, that's a tag. We're, that's what we're going with. So I feel like there's an expectation here that Maidenless Behavior is going to be a little bit more feral than our good friend Cheshire. We'll see how it goes. <laughs> Looks like Maidenless Behavior is playing Rams, so definitely keeping up with the name. <laughs> I think everybody in chat would agree that that constitutes Maidenless Behavior. <laughs> that listen, listen. I, um, Nagai, if you, you know Nagai, said Ram, Ram is just like, you just want to chill. You just want to play some guilty gear. You're not trying to stress. You're just trying to have a good time. That's what <laughs> Ram is. That's exactly what Ram is. She's, you pick her. You know, you're not watching Bleach, you're not watching Naruto, you're not watching any of that. You're watching Spy Fam, you're watching something cozy, right? You know how, uh, you remember how in Smash you could scan an amiibo and you could, like, train it and it could, like, fight for you? It, like, put, when you, like, put your amiibo in Strive, it just picks RAM for you. And so it's, like, you know, it's like, <laughs> I'm so, that was really mean. I hope everybody knows that we are kidding. Everybody in this game is sick. But I think we are going to be seeing some RAM action, which is cool because we actually really don't see much RAM. Um, against really? another Testament, dude. Testament fever is sweeping the nation. I feel like Testament's pretty popular amongst newer players. And I mean, let's, let's, you know, if we're going to talk about it, you know, I think a lot of our players came in with the end of, of Jin and having, I think having characters like Testament, like Bridget, who really represent. Oh, let's go! Oh, shit. It's not a ram at all. Oh, this is what I want to see. This <laughs> dude, I'm so hyped. Maidenless you know, behavior, I, going with the big Milia on the band <laughs> stage. Okay, picking the band stage is maidenless behavior, but the character choice is all right. Now, man, if, if no one knows, I am... Whew, I love me Milia. She's my favorite character. She's so cool. And I am excited to see this game, because Testament... <laughs> Testament's a, it could get tough. That 6P is uh, pretty scary for Milia, but... Once she gets in there, once Schmickshin and Schmoove and he's forced to reckon with, and we're gonna get best song in the game. I just wanna toss that out there. We are gonna get best song in the game. I, uh. Oh, dude, that's what I'm saying, right? You, fake discs just get eaten by 6P so hard. It's oh, yeah. not an, It's and not an option. You definitely see there's. Oh, definitely gonna have some. You can definitely see the muscle memory there going for the 2K, 2D, and uh, H disc is. It's it's rough. It's rough out there. And Dude, I love Cheshire is playing this neutral with just so much premeditated buttons. Just his six H oh, and six P and just swanging. I mean, and that's the thing is that Millie is the one who has to come to you, you know. And you have you have Crow, you have Fireball, and oh, going for the Nush. I don't know the name of the special, but it's gonna. Be <laughs> Wait, what were you gonna call it? It's like it's Nostrovoya, isn't it? Isn't that the name of it? I always just call it girls, girls, girls. I don't know what it's called. <laughs> gold burst! Oh my god. Okay. I think that's the oh. first actual successful gold burst of the tournament series so far. Wow. Oh, nice. Getting I can't believe that 6 didn't catch. Oh, this is. Oh. Ow. <laughs> and, uh, fun little fact with Melee. Actually, um, are you getting hit or bristles if you get the throw knockdown? Call anyone going out. Chomp Millie and Amelia's. Ow! <laughs> Too far away, oh, I think, for the man. girls to combo here. Yeah, but it is going to make it the force of the block there. Oh, nice. High Gator. Wow. Cheshire. Man. Wow. Definitely just have. Between the Calamity one and all the Arbiter signs, having a three piece Millie meal for dinner. And yes, <laughs> that's a rough one. That's rough. Uh, <laughs> definitely, definitely throwing out those H discs kind of haphazardly is, is pretty spooky. Um, I, Jen, yeah. I just I like how you're over there. Just like I mean, I know Milia was looking like a snack, but that's not what I meant. You know, oh, let her. <laughs> Ray, come on, Ray, come on. <laughs> Cheshire is up one point again. I have to imagine every time it like cuts to Cheshire's player cam, it's got like a nice harpsichord playing in the background. And like, yeah, such a fine match. Oh yeah. Oh right. Screen hair cars. That's the Milia experience. I love you, that. 
tell me. Oh, oh, what? <laughs> <laughs> they just like Tess all jumped off each other. Tests are showing that they have movement of their own. And first night when the. That's one of the hardest things in. Oh man, looks like Cheshire's just. <gasps> is he reading? Cool. Is he reading a book throwing out all these abilities? But Amelia's gonna use her. Oh, that's Calamity 1 and nice. Gonna block, gonna get up. Oh, punish, gonna throw out the disc and. That was a uh, that was a really I understand the intent behind the gator right because maidenless behavior has gone for age disc there a lot but they actually showed her straight there I can't believe that gator took that big of a bite dude I thought she was living by a oh, little man. bit ah uh, you know who this character is this character is three effective HP more than Chip and that's a pretty good conversion nice go to be starting the mix oh man get in the aerial game and that's Bombo. Like, this is what you were talking about earlier where, where once they get in you know these. These players definitely know their combos, definitely know how to play offense, and... Oh man, really is backdashing a lot, getting hit by the stink, getting hit by the 6 H. Ow! Gators chomping, chomping, <laughs> chomping. We're in Florida now, but... I'm gonna instantly get that burst out. Tessman's playing a full fire meter, and... Ooh, the fast fall. Wow, actually nice, blocked and... the 2k there, and so... But Cheshire's still got a little bit of life left. You gotta be a little oh, nervous here. Gets man. the throw! And yeah, you know, you don't want to... If you red RC, it's a little dangerous with the car. You got to do a lot of... Oh, man! Opening up with the six! <laughs> it's just barely going to connect. Oh, man. This, now, this is... Now, I will tell you. Testament players, you know, they get they get really caught up in uh, throwing out all those projectiles. You can hear couple screen, and it'll hit them. But it looks like instead, Maidenless is going to be opting for a pretty smash the air combo. Uh-oh. Is this is going to be a back throw incident? Okay, yeah. Now, okay, I really do like that Maidenless behavior has been able to adjust and not canceling into H disc after 2D. Sometimes, especially in tournament bracket, it's really, really hard to make those adjustments on the fly if they're encoded in your being. But now it's going to be, what is Cheshire's, oh, yeah. what's Cheshire's level 2, right? Maidenless has adapted. What's your comp, like, back to at it? Oh, no! Oh, there were 6 H's! Oh, no! Ouchies, but cut him right in half. Uh, <laughs> Brospers are, you know, it's one of those things where you, 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 you know, of course they're not going to do it. They're not going to throw us at him like that. And then, oh man, just coming out, slicing the test in half. And Milia taking that one. No, they're taking that one, so it's currently tied up, and uh, yes, yeah, when you are correct, Jin actually does know the move names. I know, like, one move name. If the character does not yell the name of the move, I'm out of there. Dude, I, I mean, I, I, I know a couple of them, but you know, when you have characters like Chip who just start yelling out random bullshit, it's... <laughs> Chip is easy. With it, man. Except I, I call all of his blades just Blade, and I hope no one catches on to me. Because <laughs> I oh, always Nuss forget which one's which. Over the gator. Yeah, you know, sushi, sukiyaki, bonsai. That's yeah, exactly. That was what they got. 6P <laughs> hitting from way down below. And the crow, nice block from Maidenless. I think they've been oh, starting yeah, to block Maiden... the gator more and more. Oh, <laughs> 6P Bar hitting on the uh, crow, so. It's fine. <laughs> yeah, you can definitely see Maidenless is able to adapt and not throwing out H discs. And oh man, getting the getting the combos. I think they're really starting to feel themselves. <laughs> Dude, but, yeah, all right, as I say that. Teleports Millie, behind you, you, nothing personnel. Uh, no meter to finish out here, press. but she is gonna be stained. <laughs> it's fine. I think that uh, Milia has a game plan here, but it is oh nice. Definitely gonna be a. <gasps> Sometimes you get bit by the gator. It's yeah, just the way it be. That's a, that's a big gator. Yes, I do also. I respect Maidenless behavior hanging on to the burst. It's going to be the whole thing their lifeline here. You know, run good burst can really... Milia, if she gets a good burst and she can establish you control... Unfortunately, she gets oh, sniped man. out of the sky and caught in the dome. Oh, no. Cheshire's on it, Jin. <gasps> Wait. This is... Okay. Get it. Oh, oh, I don't... I don't think Maidenless knew that knockdown was going to be hidden there. I think they were really caught with the... Oh, man. Getting juggled by the fireball and... Bro. I can't believe that works. Uh, so many testament combos, they look so sick, and you're just like, dude, how do they do that? And then, like, you do them, and it's like, oh, everything just works from every distance, huh? It's like, they're, <laughs> the boy just keeps, they just keep going. But Cheshire is going to take that there, two to one. Maidenless behavior is going to be dropping down a loser side of the bracket. Unfortunately, this week, unfortunately, with, despite the gin buff, it may not be dominated by yet another Milia. If you don't know, we had three weeks in a row get won by Milias, so we're a little scarred over here. Oh, wow, that's a surprise. <laughs> <laughs> no, I, I mean, I don't know. I feel like tournaments like this, <clears throat> Amelia definitely does do really well because if you, if you know, like you don't really see a ton of Amelia's in, you know, 7th to ninth floor. You know, you 10th floor, you don't really see a lot. I think she's just 
and super popular. If someone knows how to pilot her, she is very scary. True, yeah. Also, Jin, you are a Leo main. I, I forgot. Shut that, up! That, so. No, no, no. <laughs> you stop that. <laughs> <laughs> oh my god, are we getting Megamelia? Do the people know it? Another one? People know what I like. Oh, heck yeah. You know, this This unironically does happen, right? Like, the week I had Hitachi on, all the Nagoryukis were like, my blade is ready. <laughs> like, they all came Dude, out. It, like, it, you attract the people <laughs> for who you have on. Oh, man. Speaking of a Naga, it looks like we're going to be having maybe a Naga versus Amelia. That'd be scary. Are you saying that based, just based off their player avatar? No, they came in with the Naga above there. You're right, they did. They just switched I didn't up. see that. Well, that is what it's going to be. It's going to be Joey. <laughs> Wait, let me double check dog. the names here. It is what it's going to be. It's going to be Lil Hot Dog versus Jordan Kickass. <laughs> well, I mean, hot dogs are not known to have much ass, so hopefully uh, we'll be able to see Milia coming out. And oh, They may not have much ass, but they do have buns. It's been a good time. Have 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 fun. <laughs> <laughs> Lil Hot Dog here going to be rolling up. But I'm kind of scared at, you know, Nagoriyuki tends to be a very strong character. Like, especially at kind of this level of play, to be honest. In a beginner sort of session, like, you getting in from... I do not buns, thank you, Solid Bones. Shut up, hot dog, you're playing. <laughs> <laughs> and honestly, like, oh, I get Insta Beyblade and putting... And this is hard. This is okay. Get into counter hit into the 2K 2D. That should be up to side starting up, but it's going to get bursted out. And... This matchup is horrifying for Millie. Uh, you can mix Nago six, seven times, and Nago gets one comp. It's an even playing field. True. However, Jordan is so blooded up, he can't really do anything, even with these hits. He has to win off of just, like, Samurai Showdown, just big hits. <laughs> he's got nothing else. Oh. Or he's got to land a bite or something. Oh, no! Back throw incident! Oh, this could be all he needs! That's not a, oh, that should have been super. That oh, should have been super. Jordan, no! Oh, that's what you love to see. What? Blue, I see. And oh! <laughs> Damn, cut her in half. Damn, that's rough. That's rough, buddy. And oh man, Naga's starting it up. You know, uh, and outside of you know, very, very good use of Winger right there. To, oh, getting the the the. the I, do, I don't even know. I'm just I think a six K. And oh, is the row is actually get, working. Nice. Always good to see a good capital. This is where it gets kind of rougher. I mean, I don't know. It's it's very volatile at this point. It's very volatile. That's big bad capital. Felios, because if you drop a combo like that, we're Where is he? <laughs> oh, man, he just disappeared went to the Shadow Realm, and he's just going to be dashing up. And Yeah, I don't know, man. This is this is spooky. This is spooky. But the capitals, these capitals are on point by Hot Dog. Which, oh, no. All right, Bones, if we see a Blood Rage Super tonight, I... Oh, man, I'm going to lose it. <laughs> <laughs> we might see Jordan has a hundred dollars. You have to be so scared. A super RC is the automatic response here, but actually, he's gonna Y RC. Super interesting decision, and you might die for it. You did. Oh man, and yeah, I don't know, man. I, sometimes you get in those situations, you just Y RC out of panic, just try to get him off of you, and you know, you couldn't. Oh man, six feet of hair card. Oh, the, the cross up. up. <laughs> oh man. And this is where this is where Millia players start to have fun, right? This when when they understand how to mix you up, when they understand what works, what doesn't, and they get to have a very good time. Yeah, Millia players can only have fun if the other player isn't getting to play. They uh, oh yeah. no! Oh, but now it might be your turn, bro. That combo that's was kind of scuffed, but also kind of sick. <laughs> Dude, it looks cool. That's what matters. Combos and oh, gonna get grabbed out of the air. Pressure and getting bursted out. Oh, it's all right. Kind of you send back to neutral in the hair car. Yo, that hair car, it comes out slow, but it, 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 it's unexpected. And it looks like Millie will be taking this one. I think they're out of the 100 bar. Yeah, so I'm surprised yeah. Jordan didn't go. It feels like a little more feral there almost. Like Hot Dog had, like he, it feels like they had opportunities where Hot Dog was kind of like getting in the corner. Um, and they just weren't spending meter. Like, if you have 100 bucks as Nagori Yuki, right? Super RC is like the of course, because even on whiff or block, you are cruising, right? Like, you just oh, can yeah. do whatever you want. Um, so, like, going for the YRC there, I think, is actually a lot more risky, despite YRC usually being a relatively safe option. Just because mm -hmm. if it's blocked, you're dead. And also, even on a success, you now lock yourself out of building more meter for forever. <laughs> <clears throat> yeah, I mean, I think that 
pretty, pretty obvious player. I mean, maybe not. Oh. I'm not a Nago player. Oh, good counter hit, but back dashing. I think they didn't expect that to hit. Okay, and big early gonna, Oh, man, not not letting Milia start up, but she's going to just go, go in, get that JH, and dash out, doing the Milia thing with the hair card, throwing out another disc, and... Oh, man, she's a cruise missile landing right on top of Nago. I cannot believe She's Jordan a... blocked that. Jordan deserves a medal for managing to block that. It's gonna get weird here. What are you doing? Okay. You're so, now you again still pretty blooded up. That. that was a bold throw. <laughs> oh man. <laughs> yeah, Adelia knows that right there. If she gets, oh, and... uh, you know what's funny? Hang on for a few more seconds. Hit me with it. I think Jordan was about to pop anyway, so Hot Dog could have just chilled. <laughs> I think Jordan was dead. Because if you see a clone like that come out when he has that much blood, Nagoriyuki is, like, gonna pop. These double overheads have been eating Jordan alive, unfortunately. Mm-hmm, and... and oh, going for a, a 5D, but it's gonna get cackled, and we're gonna get a pretty big combo by Milia, you know, doing Milia damage, but that's okay. It's okay. It could end in Winger and did, like, one more damage. Oh, yeah, you know, and... Hey, listen, you don't do it for the damage. You do it for the hard knockdown, right? Oh, okay, oh, that's huge. <laughs> Just, Five P's into Not six a H. big fan. <gasps> and the winger coming out again. Are you gonna get the? Oh! Bro, I winger killed. <laughs> Is this the first recorded instance of winger killing somebody in Guilty Gear Strive? It just might be. <laughs> like I think they were three for three for wingers, right? They just kept working. Listen. If it gets blocked, you're gonna get niched and you're you're gonna go straight to losing the round, but if it works, it works. And seeing Milia win that is pretty impressive. Nago is a scary, scary matchup. Hot Nago dog. is super scary, but yes, Hot Dog was really holding it down there. Unfortunately for Jordan, I, I feel like the meter usage was really the big thing. Like, the meter usage, and I feel like Jordan kept, uh, this is like, like Nagoriyuki specific, but you do actually need to think about how it is you're spending your blood because even in the opportunities where Jordan like kind of was able to push Hot Dog in the corner, you were like so blooded up at that point that you couldn't really convert, right? You needed to either land a right. command grab or something to keep it going. Um, and it's like, that's not super worth it. Like, it's not always worth it to go like, clone, clone! Well, I'm done playing the game, right? <laughs> like, mm -hmm. I mean, you know, one thing that I definitely eat a lot is um, Fukio win to like a PRC grab. And I think that um, Nago's definitely Playing with a lot of meter for a lot of that, so they could have definitely done that, and that takes a big chunk out of Milia. Um, but yeah, like I think that playing against Milia, it's it's stressful. I'm gonna throw that out there. It is quite stressful, so you can get into a couple of situations where you feel like you should be wired instead of doing something else, stuff like that. What is the person on the left wearing in this lobby? What what is this hat? What? If I were to assign a word to it, I am quite sure that is an Ushanka. Is is it? That is a <laughs> comedically large. <laughs> it's like a top hat with like wings on it. <laughs> I have no idea what that is. I'm confused and perplexed. Where do you and even scared. get it? I don't know. I put on a knight outfit on my avatar and then never looked at it ever again. <laughs> Next up is going to be Quiet Water going up against Box O Rocks, which is a good name. Oh, it's a witch hat with an afro. Oh, oh. interesting. And it is going to be the canon matchup. It's going to be, uh, you know, the boyfriend and girlfriend slugging it out here. Oh, skipping intros. Hey, man, I want to be real with you. Oh, man, going for the... I, I know nothing about you. All I know is that she just jumps at you. She, she throws her guitar. She kicks you in the face and... Uh, generally, the opponent kind of likes it, I feel like. Getting counter hit and... Axel gonna be bursting, trying to get the pressure off. And this is not a fun situation, I think, for the Eno to be in. Um, Axel definitely using the range, throwing out the incense. Okay. Oh, man, but she's just gonna fly in and get the counter hit! <laughs> yeah, I mean, it's not a fun situation, but don't break the wall here. Okay, breaking the wall is spooky, because now you've reset back to neutral. Like, you took a bite out of Axel, but now you got to find the other hit. Okay, finds oh, the nice. HCL. Love. I love that note, because that's kind of going to deter him from using Reversal Super. The jump back Mega Fist in the corner. Wait a minute, wait a minute. Box oh, of man. rocks. Ina. Ina. able to get it, and, and she's definitely looks pretty confident on being able to close the difference against Axel. Took a couple of rinse and was able to very quickly adjust to that. 
throwing Axel right in the corner. And I mean, outside of outside of the Pickle Storm, I don't think Axel really has any decent options. No, Axel is pretty scuffed defensively, and so like Eno is pretty susceptible to getting zoned just because like five P kind of like hits her entire air dash and stuff like that. But I mean, if she can get in, Axel is miserable, right? These HCLs are money. They are cash oh, yeah. money. They are just forcing See, Quiet Water to play more passive, and they're getting run over by the Hoich. Angels into into the the projectiles. Axel is listen. I don't blame. That's that's a scary situation. You know you. Not being able to just out your abilities, like I think a, a lot of acts have to do. Playing reactively, being able to um, see if you're trying to go to air approach or just running straight at you, but having all of those abilities to kind of deter him from doing that, it's definitely Yeah, no, I think for good. sure. Um, it's just, it's it's really spooky to navigate the neutral, right? You have to, you're a little always vulnerable to getting sniped by HCL, especially they did buff HCL, so it's a little bit more of this full screen threat laser beam that you have to worry about. Um, mm -hmm. Eno is another one of those characters that I would also put with Zato in terms of like, hey, if you're picking up the game and you're learning them, once you have an offensive sequence, you will run people over, right? They will not get to play the game. <laughs> like, oh, for sure. You know, Eno can. And listen, I don't know what move this is that they just used three times in a row, but that is that's the tilt right there. That's the I'm sitting in the corner. I, I can't block this man. <laughs> yeah, help. Going high, going high again. Quiet Water is hitting 5k, but you gotta get a little bit more than that. Stroke is gonna connect. Next hit's gonna easily kill. This oh. should be in a super. Do it. Nice. Doink. Not quite dead. What? Whoa. Oh, pixel left. I oh. Think Quiet was. I, you know, you know what that speaks to me, Jin? What's up? Do you intentionally do 2H on Wake Up when your reversal super is also on H? Sorry, you run that one by me. <laughs> <laughs> I think Quiet Water meant to do reversal super in that situation, but accidentally got 2H, so they got stopped by the JS. That was the... Oh, I get that. Unfortunate. But Boxer Rocks, what happened? We looked away for one second. Boxer Rocks got completely run down by Rensons, but Eno does not need life to kill you. You might never get to play the game. <gasps> there it is. That was oh, a safe jump. Oh, are coming up, but this is... No, you have to jump that. It all... Oh, no. Good FD, but is oh man, able to apply the pressure after going for the highs, going for the lows. Eno mixes kind of see, running up. Oh. Axel, Bro. Axel 2k and under the limbo champion coming back. 6 8 Ooh. from downtown. I got yeah. mixed too, girl. Right to the face. Eno's not gonna like that one. And we're gonna go on to around three. Quiet water, I think. Good enough. Oh, you know, as I say that. Definitely getting a, a little bit more confident in the matchup. Going for a pretty odd throw. I, I can respect it. Bro, that stroke brought her way too close into the corner, so Quiet Water's jump back H didn't hit. She was too far behind him. That was such a messed up situation. Okay, Quiet Water's That's got a chance, rough. though, but this is your tournament life. You've got, like, 50 health. What are you going to do with it? Listen, if it's not zero, it's basically full. That's not true at all, but it looks like going to be trying to zone out. For instance, getting a kind of hit. Oh, no, the person's going to win! Eno's gonna be full screening with <gasps> Axel, and that's so no! scary. He's gonna be whipping the. Oh, I don't even. Oh, no, that's. Wait! You gotta burst! Oh, the oh, two! Axel, you're. Oh, you're full You're at a billion dollars! <laughs> oh, man. I respect it. It's, it's hard out there for the, for the Axel players. Tough out there for the Axel no players. Box of Rocks is going to take it there. 2-2-0. Two, two, also, something I just want to talk about. I saw a base lover. You said exclamation point Macharino in the chat. No, we do not have a Macharino. We do not have a cash prize on the table because trust me, if you're trying to run a beginner tournament, if you have cash money, you will not get beginners in your bracket. You will get people coming out of the woodwork who are like, yes, me beginner. I have no idea what go on. What happened here? <laughs> I didn't pick up Guilty Gear Strive on sale on my alt team. Of course not. Yeah, no, exactly, right? It's just like, yes, I just got it on the on the sale. Uh, you know, I've never played it before. <laughs> and then you look at their Steam profile. Yeah, I mean, could you imagine doing that? Could you imagine rigging a beginner bracket so your friends could enter it so they could win, like, 100 bucks? <laughs> could you imagine doing that? And Dude, that's, that's a... how you get canceled on Twitter right there. That's how you get canceled on Twitter. It's not the other thing. I don't know if you catch on what I'm catching on to, Jin. I think you're new to fighting games, and you might not know that this is a thing that's happened. I'm not going to name the person. <laughs> Oh, man, you know, I am clueless. I'm clueless. I am clueless i do not know anything. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Well, holy shit, we got a zebra in the lobby. Oh, that's it's holding a swordfish. Call that uh... a... <laughs> How would y'all rate this Strive Lobby avatar drip? That's that's pretty powerful, I think. Definitely got the... Uh, oh! Damn, it's kind of... 
Is that another? Yeah. Is that another Bridget? Ooh. Another Bridget Kai? Another. You gotta be seeing this again. Chocolate beef. I do recognize the name. I think they were been here. I want to say a few times. I only started <laughs> joining last week. But... <laughs> yes. Yeah, so they're a regular. <laughs> the <laughs> and Bridget gonna be starting off with the pressure, but it looks like Kai is gonna be trying to reverse. He's gonna get the burst, and Kai's just jumping in, going with the stun dipper, putting the pressure on. And oh man, this is scary. Being Help. Oh, Body potato is cooking. Into... Potato is straight baked. Oh man, this is this is pretty scary. I'm gonna get the J uh, JS and oh, good red RC, but very good blocking by Potato. And with, with that red RC, it looks like Potato is gonna be taking the first round. Yeah, uh, Chocolate Beef went for it. That's like the easy Bridget 50-50, right? Whether you're gonna RC go high or low. I'm surprised Chocolate Beef went low first, because theoretically you always assume your opponent is gonna be down backing until they're proven otherwise, right? So I think like. The first thing you represent there in the overhead, and then you mix in the lows. Also, I want to say, I think last week, Chocolate Beef also fought a food name. Uh, so, like, <laughs> Chocolate Beef only other fights other people who's named after food. <laughs> Chocolate Beef on the lookout for something to There's the high. Strange, and yeah, getting the high, but I even... And, uh, listen, Chocolate Beef out here, if, if the throw works, the throw works. Bringing out Roger to play, and going with the DP, and... <gasps> oh, no, I mean... Oh, what? No! <laughs> Beef! Stop playing with your food! Eat your potato! Oh man, beef is beef is over cooking this potato. <laughs> and, oh, oh, that's scary, man. Those five beats are scary from Kyle. Going after okay. Oh. <laughs> the the, the a, neutral cute, double jump JK <laughs> to hold it down. Cute little pose there. Bridget, definitely a, a shoes one. And oh man, that five S very good. Oh. oh man, you can see that she is definitely no. Potato! Oh, oh, oh man, Chaco Beef is full sending it. Has oh. thrown out a starship? It? Yeah, for sure. You have to be careful of that. Big YRC, this is a good way to oh. use your meter, right? Chaco Beef, Chaco Beef has straight bully the meter. Can do whatever they want. The skirt skirt doesn't hit. Oh, B potato man, threw again. Listen, I'm telling you, man. I'm telling you, Kyle is a grappler. I can't, Kyle. I can't, the first time I was like, that was a pretty aggressive <laughs> reversal throw attempt, and then they did it again. I was like, Jesus. They just, you know, I get, if you're gambling on the back throw incident to close it out, you know, you gotta commit. All in. Yeah, and listen, if that works, it works. You know, putting Bridget into the corner and then just kind of throwing out fondue works and all those other, you know, random things that Kyle does, it's, it's scary. It can get really scary real quick. Everyone's pretty scary in this game. Oh! It's a scary game. You know, I've heard that uh, it's also known as Marty 11, but yeah, it's whatever. Yeah, no, it is in Oct yeah. uh, it's October, so I mean, this, I think this does officially classify as your horror game for the month if you're into that kind of thing. Gets the big throw, so oh, sure. okay. What's well, gonna be the pressure? Oh, we throw one and again. White bread, only butter. There we oh, go. Man, oh, you're dead. Ride the lightning. Doesn't even need it. You're gonna do oh, it anyway. Right, still gonna do it. Gotta close it out with style. And. Kind of British delicacy. Okay, well, that's kind of a weird way to say it, but we're going to be getting into round two with, uh, <laughs> with the hit bursting out. Going to try to be putting Bridget back into the corner, but she is fighting back. Ooh, I like the uh, the sunage there. I think it's like the first time Chocolate Beef has really done yo yo movement. Unfortunately, just got shot down. <laughs> yeah, those stun edges and all of that is it's it's rough, but you know, Chocolate Beef just moving through the air, and you know, Kyle does have some good buttons for the, the air. But really ooh, cool. the just meter. with the okay. Oh, ooh, gonna burst out because listen, those those RC stun dippers. That's you gotta, the true horror. You know, it's like also every time you hit someone with an RC stun dipper, it builds their IRL rage gauge. So I never doubt oh, anybody yeah. for bursting there. It sucks. No, Kai, Kai is. I don't know, man. I don't know what it is about. Oh man, good throw right as potato lands and. That was a DP. I'm gonna. I'd like to bet a hundred dollars that was not meant to be reversal two H. Dude, I feel that you play Ram, you go for the motor boats, and you just throw your sword, and uh, <laughs> it, 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 it happens Jin. for the best of us. <laughs> Mo I, I don't know, motor boat. Oh, man, going to the down low. and all these lows are hitting pretty pressure. I'm going for the throw again, and what is he? Take it out. 
Yeah, I, li I like uh, Chocolate Beef pressuring from so far away because Potato has definitely proven they are a wake up on <laughs> a throw on wake up gamer. And I mean, you can always risk it and be like, oh, my meaties are sick, right? I'm able to time them every time. But you're also. Oh, my Jeez Louise! God! <laughs> Converting off of that 6P, and that is a dis. Disgusting amount of damage. That should have been a ride the lightning, I think. Potato, unfortunately, are seeing that stun dipper when uh, Bridget was on the moon, so I couldn't really do much about it. <laughs> oh man, that Dia Clan hitting so hard. Purple Ice Team Forward, keeping up the pressure. Both of them have burst, and we're gonna have to see what Chocolate Beef is gonna use. It's gonna be going for a. Would have loved to see a, a bold gold burst right there from Chocolate Beef. Dang, Potato's gonna be able to tie it up there. Dude, they were freestyle, and they got that Dyra Claw from mid screen and then Stun Dipper OTG'd and RC'd and just like, went at them. And it's like, like you it's know, you sit down to like, hey man, let's have a jam session. And a dude rolls up and it's just like, and it's like, hey man, I, <laughs> this is not what I had in mind. <laughs> listen, I know that there's some smarts that go into playing corner with Kai, catalyzing off stuff like that. But listen, to me, to me, it just looks like you're just throwing specials, throwing certain attacks out. It's really. It's just a, just a crazy little freestyle. <laughs> it just is. It is what it be. Chocolate beef potato. Chocolate is uh, tied up right now. Tell, chat, who do you want to win? I know a lot of you are Bridget fans, but it, are you a potato fan or are you a beef fan? Okay, get in the burst. And, uh, it's like Roger Kyle bomb? is definitely playing like a zoomer right now, trying to... <laughs> These Roger Bombs are really going in. And Roger Bombs... <laughs> Bro! <laughs> Why did that blow up the 6P? <laughs> Starship gonna be keeping Kyle in the corner. We're gonna get it on. No, no hard knockdown. No using super to break the wall. I don't really know if. Oh, but Chocolate Beast gonna be going in. And he plays Bridget so aggressively. You kind of love to see it. Yeah, Chocolate Beef is a rush down Bridget for sure. <laughs> the Roger Bombs have really been coming out and are a problem, but that was a good block and counter poke by Potato. But now Potato is again stuck in the corner. Good discipline for Potato. Not going for the reversal throws anymore, but now they're getting thrown. Oh, man. And this is, yeah, this is a rough place to be for Kyle. I think, I think that Kai is definitely trying to, definitely playing pretty patiently. And Roger Bombs coming in. Oh, dude, we're having a clearance sale on these Rogers. And going to be bursting out putting Bridget back and it's so strange this you know Kai Kai is playing Kai like a zone right now but is able to oh, oh, oh good that's gonna hurt yeah that was off a of DP for the record but Potato tries to backdash to get away there but you can't get away from the brisket no good discipline from Potato not to RC there Just chicken blocking oh, gonna man. make that even more plus the throw oh. chocolate beef dude using all 100 of that meter and ending it off with the throw Bring it out there, Roger. Good, good stuff to Chocolate Beef. I think, let me double check something. Somebody in chat said they would have to fight the winner of this. And is that true? Chocolate Beef is going to be moving on to fight Box O Rocks, which is wild. That should be Ooh. crazy. That's going to be some Bridget versus uh, Eno gameplay. Uh, just to give you all some quick bracket updates while I'm in here. Parmesan Linguini has unfortunately been knocked out of the tournament. Thank you very much for playing uh, Parmesan. We have so many food players. <laughs> Dude, I mean, it's a, it's a good naming convention. You know, it name is. it after something you like. Parmesan linguine sounds pretty good. I remember like when I was a kid and I was playing Pokemon, I had an Arcanine named Donuts, and I still think that's the cutest name I ever thought of in my whole life. That is an adorable name. I love that. <laughs> Next up is going to be Stinky Steve, who we've seen on stream several times. Stinky Steve is going to be going up against Gigi's, who we've also seen. These are two beginner cup uh, veterans, you could say. I have to interrupt you, but I'm gonna be right back, Bones. You're good. A, a minute or so. Look at her shrink. I'm telling you, that's the power of being a VTuber, dude. Now her avatar is just <laughs> doing whatever the heck it's doing. And now she's frozen down there. And the... <laughs> It's like, if I get up, what am I gonna do? Stinky knocked you down on a loser's punk rock? Dude, that's the best part of a bracket. Um, is that you just get to cheer on all the people who are going, like, the distance who knocked you out, right? Like, if you got knocked out by someone, you want them to win. Mod check? There's no mods. I'm not a mod. I'm just <laughs> I'm just here to yell into a microphone. <laughs> Crouching idiot knocked you out round one. You better win the whole dang thing. I think you're all waiting for uh, big old Stinky to get on in the lobby. Or maybe GG's. I'm actually not sure which. What's good, everybody? Hope you're having fun watching tonight. 
Oh, they just knock you down and not out, BT? Okay. Dude, I didn't know the VTuber avatar could get that low. What is it tracking? <laughs> you talking shit? <laughs> Sorry, no, I'm not. What's, what's good? <laughs> <laughs> Say it to my face. <laughs> <laughs> she, she, she was just going so low. Just... Oh, yeah, dude. Yeah, we got some... I mean, I can like show up. But, you know, we could be... We, we, we could be... We could we, we move around here. We do lots of move around here. Oh, boy. So, uh, we're waiting for our next person to get in the lobby. Oh, maybe they were just waiting for you. I see somebody teabagging in the lobby. Oh, shoot. Is that, is that Jesus? What's good, Jesus? <laughs> <laughs> Wait, he's hiding behind the pillar. <laughs> that little guest appearance here. <laughs> Bro, everyone's here. <laughs> Stinky That's Steve, the Anjin player, going up against Gigi's the chip. Are y'all ready? How do you feel about this matchup? How do I feel about this matchup? Uh, I think a lot of people would say that Chip makes Anji overall pretty sad. Um, just Chip is has so much control over the neutral, and Chip tends to be poking with pretty low priority things, um, which are harder to spin through, right? And also, there's always the risk that like you'll try to spin something from mid screen, and by the time you start spinning, Chip is in your face and throwing you. Block on the bonsai though. Oh, ow! Help! I think he's even trying vision. to find their foot, dude, but they just can't. Scary. Oh, yeah, and oh, good for the grab, but uh, it looks like Stinky's not going to be able to capitalize off that. And Chip is so fast, you know, Chip is so scared to play against going at the first place. We definitely wanted to bread RC off of that for a little, but they're going to be able to get yeah. Doesn't matter. Uh, Jin, it sounds like your, your your mic is starting to stutter pretty bad. I'm not sure why. Oh, let me let me get a little closer. Is this better? <laughs> Wait, say, say uh, hello, Bones. My name is Jin. Uh, what's up, Bones? My name is Jin. All right, you're sounding much better. I think that is just you're being far away from it. Okay, gets the burst though. Okay. Stinky Steve is trying to fight back. And this is this is. Bro, I've been did going you just, a lot just of lows out here? Did you just <laughs> empty jump cross up him like three times? <laughs> it's like the no mix Listen, mix. Man. And Gigi's gonna be definitely pretty well up. So, you know, throwing out the alpha blades, able to get a lot of. Non-committal K2Ds, and I think that just puts a whole lot of pressure. I'm constantly getting knocked down over and over. Not having it. And, um, so I kind of lost my chain of thought here, but, you know, Chip, Chip, like, he's very non-committal kind of character. He's able to throw out some pretty quick moves and doesn't have to go too deep with anything. And I think that's definitely pretty rough, you know, to deal with as an Anji. Yeah, it's rough, right? Because Anji's a lot of, like, uh like mid-screen decision making is like the threat of spin and fujin but like gg's i think is playing this very correctly where they are just flipping around above them and then coming down pretty arbitrarily like there there was a spin right and gg just wasn't doing anything um that's kind of like the risk gg's is always elected not just be crazy oh man but then you get into situations like this where anji is able to get going and Oh, that is so much damage, and whoa, that was, you know, that was a purple RC, but it's all right. Chip is going to be pushing Anji right back into the corner, and I think if... Oh, wow, really good counter hit on the record with the bait. Oh, oh no! Oh, that was man! the accidental burst bait. They just RC'd it to be safe, but Siggy Steve burst the frame. They get hit by the DP. Oh, Two command man. grabs and, like, a sneeze could easily tie this up here. 5k juggle. Oh my god, he's going in. Catching the back dash. Stinky Steve is a little too reliant on that back dash. I can't believe GG's was able to run that back. That was good. That was good, you know. And keeping, keeping cool after getting that little bit of corner pressure from Anji earlier. Super critical, I feel pretty scared. Anji is, oh man, just running up with the 6k. I respect it. Good. And the second Eureka, going to keep up the pressure. 2k, 2d, and into the Sukiyaki. And that's going to be a pretty good wall break. Blasted through the wall. Yeah, that's quite a bit of damage. On oh, the empty jump throw. You're despicable, GG. GG's is going in. They're trying to win this now. They're a chip player. The 6K connects. No meter. They're just trying to annoy with it. The clone, another 6K. Two more 6Ks, and they're dead. <laughs> and this this is a... St oh, man. I'm going to be catching with that fire slash. And that chip's fire slash, you know, so good for just checking, um, running up, trying to keep your foot season one on. And if it hits, you can get lean into so many things with it. You know, you can get your Rekkas. You can get your Alpha Blades. You can get all of that. Chip is... Pretty horrifying to play against. Yeah, hundred percent. What do you mean the stream budget went into the VTuber commentary? I'm not sure what that means. 
No. I don't know, man. We got a, we got a, we got a high budget shoot here. Good yeah, sir. no, we got a. It's a very professional, high budget operation. You know, it all uh, goes into feeding my <laughs> my V two co commentator addiction. Yeah, uh, yeah, yeah. Next up is uh, Gigi's there to uh, sorry, Gigi's to Gigi's. That's why my brain got confused there. Uh, Gigi's and Sticky Steve. Um, I think for Steve, unfortunately, they just weren't able to. Uh, like, establish control over that neutral. The one time we saw them, like, hit and get cooking, right? Gigi's almost got completely deleted. But mm -hmm. it just feels like they weren't able to get consistent control. I feel like we didn't see many 6Ps, and Gigi certainly was jumping a lot. Um, there was also, I think, a little bit too much of a reliance on backdashing on Wake Up. Sometimes you just gotta block. Mm -hmm. uh, you know, nobody likes to hear it. Sometimes you just gotta chill out and block. <laughs> Bones, we're not paying $60 to block, okay? I mean... <sighs> Buy it on sale. Buy it for 20 What can I say? Then block. <laughs> <laughs> do that. What do you mean I don't pay you to mod? All you do is add everyone in my Discord. You barely mod. <laughs> I will not stand by this sander. Coming out. And oh, man. It is not a big uh -oh. deal as Stratch with the first Gold Lewis. I'm surprised we haven't been seeing a lot of Gold Lewis. Well, Gold Lewis is interesting because uh, Gold Lewis is really... Difficult, I think, to get to a functioning level because anytime you miss a uh, behemoth typhoon, you want to cry your eyes out, right? Because if you uh -huh. miss a behemoth and you accidentally get Gold Lewis 2 H, he freaking flings his legs up in the air and falls on his back and is like, oh, my sciatica. And I mean, you get to <laughs> run up and just throttle him for it. So yeah, it, it can be really this, tricky to learn at first. There's anyone who's going to be throttling Gold Lewis. It is Biken. Biken. Biken is scary. And I'm just going to say it. B Biken, I always say, is a pretty esports character, and Fargo is a pretty esports guy for the big 20 months. Thank you so much, I appreciate it. But uh, yeah, Sea Gullible here with the big old Biken. I think I saw one Sea Gullible fan in the chat. We'll see how the Strach Gold Lewis is cooking here. Oh no, he's getting shot. He's getting cooked. Opening up was okay. Going for those Eos onsens, but um, oh, oh man, Gold Lewis is able to set up Fisher pretty early, and I think that is going to be able to start picking up that. Oh, that true combo right JS Yozansen. You see all of the bikes in Wow, really tried to wait out that burst there, but Sea Gullible just did it so late. The backdash works. I think I don't think they were meaning to just 5H oh. full screen. I think those are both behemoths, oh, but youchies. It works and I man, are we are we gonna hear are we gonna hear the lyrics from Bike Song? It takes like 70 seconds just to start up. And Gold Lewis is gonna make this a quick one and pulling out the gun to contest Spike Gun. It's a shootout, but looks like it's not gonna be last too long. Lewis throwing out the uh, uh, dude, he's just hitting, he's just hitting buttons. He's throwing out the behemoths. He's Ow. fetching, he's bouncing off the wall. And oh god, that is vile. Ow. Yeah, did a little bit of damage. Going for the gunshot, but the big boy was just moving forward. Yo, Johnson connects. Wait, Ooh. hold up. This could definitely still be winnable for Sea Gullible. Finds the low, but oh, there's nothing shit. else for it. The behind oh, no. the backboard. Wait, wait, wait. Ooh. No, they want to be our RC. No. Sea Gullible. Ah! Oh, my <laughs> <laughs> Oh, man. Sea Gullible. Say that. This is my song, dude. We're hearing this. Getting some pretty nasty promos. You can start to see here the set play with the tatami, with the kabari, and god, this is not a fun place to be. <gasps> that JS can <laughs> was so Ooh. far away. Wow. Oh, dude, really, yeah, that JS is really back that Wait a minute. <gasps> oh, god, shooting the drone out of the air. It's Duck Hunt going to be juggling. And oh, no. Nice, dude. Sea gullible shooting straight through the drone. Going to put one on the board for themselves. Jin, I mean, we might have to hit a button. Prepare yourself. Oh, god. This is an execution oh, no. check. Oh god, I'm panicking. Wait for it. We have to check the opponent's connection. Making sure it's good. Making sure there's nothing suspicious in there. Okay. Oh. All right, hit the big button and then we should be good. I do not know why this is a thing. But if you don't know, this is why for stream setups, you always have to set the game to not be rematches because if it disconnects like that, we as spectators would get booted, but they wouldn't. <laughs> Gotcha. So then we have to do health bar commentary, which let me tell you is not easy. <laughs> Dude, no, we can just fantasize that they're getting some pretty sick, nasty combos out and home. Oh, Seagullable just lit. Yeah, luckily uh, we don't have to fantasize now because Seagullable is indeed one up over Strach. Strach was like looking so strong. Seagullable managed to scramble out that one round and then was just looking a lot more control. Very early burst, and she's Whoa. not even there, boy. And, you know, they're, they're just. 
they want some fisticuffs. They're getting both their bursts out, and God, it's just so crazy seeing how much damage Biken does, especially to a character like Gold Lewis, and she's gonna break the wall and take out about 75 from Gold Lewis's health in the process. I don't think that was meant to be an in-place Yo Johnson. No, oh, the cross oh, up oh, the 6P word. Is he dead? Does this kill? Holy smokes. Oh my god. Damn, Sea Gullible's kind of <laughs> cooking. The jump back, JD. I feel like Sea Gullible had to take a second to adjust because Strach actually is barely doing any Gold Lewis JD, which is usually how you have uh -huh. to structure how you approach the character at all. So Sea Gullible had to like recalibrate to like, he's not doing it. Do I just hit him? <laughs> like, yeah, and I think that. I think Sea Gullible can smell in the water. Strach is playing pretty defensively. Just... He's dead. Uh, no, it dropped! Oh, no. Ward? I, I think that a stretch is too close to the ground. The combo was right, and then it's... Oh, going off. down this still breaking the glasses! Oh, oh. <laughs> big chillin'. Meant to be able to cover. Wait a minute. Wait a minute. Strach Dude, may I have a see, pixel, I... but Gold Lewis doesn't need much. <gasps> oh, how did that sword not hit? <laughs> Gold Lewis <laughs> can his gut in, but he's going to be by the chase. Dude. Oh, man. Dude. I'm telling you, the bike in JS is the Halo 1 sniper rifle. It's just the... Like, it is from downtown. I think we didn't Man. see... But speaking of war crime buttons, uh, Strach wasn't doing any JDs, I don't think, really, that I saw. And, like, it is really important to establish JD as a thing for Gold Lewis so that then you start doing stuff like the mid-screen up behemoths and far slashes and whatnot, right? But it's so critical, I think, to establish that. But that oh, being said... That being said, Sea Gold Werewolf is also playing really well, I think, around the shit Gold Lewis kind of wants to do. Uh, was able mm -hmm. to bring it up there 2 0 for themselves. Good job. Yeah, that was, that was a really good show by Sea Gold I think definitely that first round was them just kind of feeling everything out and then just kind of exploding with Biken. And I mean, I don't know, man. There's a lot of crimes in this game, but Biken JS is definitely up there for one of them. That Biken is definitely one of them. I, uh, you know, I always say that we may have sponsored players, but I think Biken is the first sponsored character. Like, it feels like she's rolling up in an esports jersey, and it's just like, did you have to try this hard, man? <laughs> All good. Oh my god. Uh, I think yeah, next I up is gonna like... be our first match of top eight winners side. Ooh. If you can believe it, I think we're gonna be doing Little Hot Dog next. Let me, uh, let me just. Make sure. If you're waitlisted, you roll over the next tournament. So, it's an interesting point. Um, I'm going to... Jin, I'm sorry. I'm going to talk about uh, bracket oh. politics for bracket one second. Politics, bracket politics. Bracket Welcome, everybody, to the bracket politics show. <laughs> I'm telling you. Um, you're right ahead. So, uh, people have asked, like, why is it not that just the waitlist rolls in next week? The answer is that people who sign up this week aren't necessarily available for next week. If you were waitlisted this week, you do get karma, though. And we actually track each week... Uh, how much karma somebody has and if you've ever been waitlisted twice like without enough plays to offset that uh, Then we'll give you priority on the waitlist on a future tournament The big thing I'll say though is that if you're just chilling here tonight the new bracket goes up right when we're done So usually around 10 15 10 30 Eastern time um, So just keep an eye out for that try to sign in as early as you can uh, And yeah, so we don't roll it over just because so many people would almost certainly not show up the next week if we auto sign them up and we want to avoid having a completely chaotic bracket of like nobody's here <laughs> you know what i mean does that make sense does that make sense to you jen yeah thanks for the vote of confidence <laughs> <laughs> sorry i got it so up in there glad you got not my back. gonna lie to you <laughs> no yeah i know you, you you're right on the money <laughs> Where does a prospective beginner sign up for one of these vain glorious tournaments? I'll respond to that only because you called them a vain glorious tournament. Uh, but I make the new bracket each week uh, in, on Challenge. I post the signups in, on my Twitter and in Sagem's Discord. Um, so just keep an eye on that. This is some of the most fun you've ever had. I'm glad to hear it, Cheshire. Thanks for playing tonight. Where are you in the bracket, actually? Let me double check. Are you in or are you out? I think Sheshar might Cheshire be out. Just said no. They got eliminated. But listen, yeah, it's fun, dude. Like, no matter what the stakes are, playing in tournaments is fun. It's really fun. I think fun. one of the best things to do is, uh, I, I, I do think it's awesome that you stream it because people uh, will actually, look, you know, if they're on stream, if they have a good stream game, they're able to look back and, you know, be like, well, you know, what could I have done better? You know, where did I mess up? Stuff like that. 
what could I have done better and then also less productively? Just was it funny? Because a lot of times there's just a lot of really funny matches that happen. Me and Jen have been cracking up tonight. I mean, that's, that's what it's all oh, about, yeah, right? Yeah. It's not just about like... Let's go to the abacus corner and uh, let's, let's really dissect your play here. That's that's for nerds. That's for like the say jam. I'll call it like the recitation when he does viewer match analysis. But this is not recitation. Yeah, only nerds would do that. No, I'm just kidding. I do match analysis too. <laughs> <laughs> We're all nerds. We're playing a video game on the internet. <laughs> uh, well, it's 2020, man. You can't say that playing video games makes you a nerd. Jin, I'm commentating a video game on the internet with the <laughs> cat girl. What do you want from me? <laughs> <laughs> What did you just call me? Wait, shit, you're a fox, aren't you? <laughs> <laughs> I uh, I had cats on the brain because you said you had a cat earlier. All right, no, dude, it's cool. I I get it, I get it. I get it. <laughs> Damn, everyone's sweating. redeeming the not a gamers on me. I see how it is. I get it, Abby, dude. I'm sweating now. But for real, while we're waiting for the next match to get in here, uh, I really do appreciate you being on tonight, Jin. Uh, we are getting into our big top eight, everybody. I hope you're excited. Uh, all right. Oh, dude, no rest for the wicked. Seagull is getting right on into it. Seagull versus, I believe, uh, I just that was comfy in my chair. It's a chip skip intro, and oh boy. Yeah, it's going to be, uh, whoops, accidentally said there was two GGs. That would be a good top eight, but unfortunately, oh my god. Well, there goes Chip's health. <laughs> oh my god. And you only need, what, three of those to kill Chip, and that's just so nasty. But, you know, Chip's not deterred. And I'm going to be keeping up the corner oh. pressure. Oh, getting the record, but it's going to be <gasps> back. It's not able to get much. But, oh, okay, god, why does Biken's mix-up tool also anti-air you from 15 counties away? <laughs> um, Who let this happen? Oh. Is he over? I think he's over. He's over. Oh, he's over, but... Oh, <laughs> I thought he was about to get a punish. I'm waiting for the burst. It looks like... Oh, ooh. He's playing really, really, uh... Conservatively. Wait, burst. Oh! I feel like Gigi's made that a little bit harder for himself than he had to. <laughs> like, that was, like, three oh, sure. resets. <laughs> like... Dude, I don't know, man. I don't know. It's scary, dude. You, like, you, you, we... Oh. With the Yazansu follow-up, getting beta-bladed. I don't know. Up on Chinup, it looks like we're gonna just be jumping around, playing on trampoline. You would think much they're jumping as the wreck is gonna be going out. And look if it works, gonna be like back into the corner looking for the RC. <laughs> yeah, I think it was actually trying to bait out that burst with Seagull Bowl. That's the second time we've seen that from Seagull Bowl. They're pretty patient with their burst. <laughs> Where is Gigi's going? <laughs> <laughs> Gigi's got places to man. <laughs> What's going on up there, brother? <laughs> and you can see Gigi's this this uh, this 2K in the air. Uh, where, where... Oh, oh, yep. Yep, it doesn't matter how slow Sakugan is, it's still coming at you. <laughs> is that what it's called? Yeah, I only know that because he goes, Sakugan Geek. <laughs> it's like, I guess that's what it's called. <laughs> Damn, did you do the voice acting for Chip? That was fun. <laughs> yeah, it was my, uh, welcome to my Chip um, uh, English dub voice acting. Uh, <laughs> dude, dude, Bonsai. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Gigi's has one on the board. This is going to be interesting. Gigi's has played in a lot of these tournaments. Um, they've made top eight loser side a lot. I want to say this is one of the first time Gigi's has made top eight winner side, which I could be wrong about. I feel like they're always consistently on the loser side, and they are cooking tonight. So is this the Gigi's night? Dude, Gigi's looks like they're feeling... <laughs> Sorry, yeah. I, I, I always feel a little angry when I see you, Johnson. I'm not going to lie to you. <laughs> <laughs> I apologize. Every time I see O Johnson, I just have to breathe deep and pound my desk. Ow! Oh, GG's! No! Holy <laughs> moly! <laughs> Getting the beta blade into the red RC, but gonna be throwing out the wreck and just gonna be throwing. Wanna be cooking. GG's just kind of vibing, playing some chip. You know, that and was a little oh, scary getting... because Seagullable almost landed another parry and that would have just deleted GG's. Wait! Oh, he's open! Oh, over. No, she she was over the... oh, I can't believe she had time to draw the sword, dude! <laughs> Dude, she serves it. She just to be positive after a gunshot pose. <laughs> Plus on whip again, bro. Gigi's has been losing more than like half their health to pairs. Dude, you, you have a damage breakdown. It's it's pairs. Those pairs are disgusting. And oh man, this is just vile. This they can damage. Gigi's really in a pretty disadvantageous position. Is able to get out of the corner? Throwing out the records and. Ooh, 2D connects. 
Sakugan's oh we're Sakugan bullying and like it's oh, season no. one baby season one never ended souls top oh, one for Fuji, life obligation bring it up the three boys of the eye sending biking all the way meaty throw well. meaty throw 100 percent of the time oh do you get caught no you oh. did I knew it. I knew GG's was going to go for meaty throw there because they... I think they are justifiably right now a little scared of getting parried, Jin. <laughs> oh, absolutely. You're not wrong at all. So I think that they were like, okay, I'm going to disarm this bomb. Let's cut the blue wire. Joke's on you is the red wire. There was a super. And that is going to mm -hmm. clop the the meaty throw there. It's going to be one-to-one. -one. Yeah, sad. It's just... It's really a guessing game. I feel like that's a lot of what Viking is, the guessing game. You know, is she going to follow up? Is she going to do this? Is she going to do this? she going to shoot me? going to slap me? I don't really have, you know, there's, she's got a lot of options. she got a lot in the toolbox. She got a lot in the toolbox, you know. She's, I mean, true to the character. she she got a lot of gizmos. She's got like a, I don't know where she keeps all this stuff. Listen, man, people talk about how goofy Faust is pulling out all these items, but like, have you seen a bike and wall combo? Pulling out cannons, pulling out Tommy's, pulling out swords, pulling out Kabayas. Ow. And, oh man, Gigi's gonna be bursting right when getting hit, but oh, it's gonna get kinda hit, and this is. I feel like, unfortunately for Gigi's, Seagullable is going to kill you right now. <laughs> so, wait, no, not quite. Yeah. Oh, block on that? No, you had to punish oh, that, God, dude! The parry. No! <laughs> I think Seagullable is definitely, definitely threw the parry out. And, okay, Beta Blade, this is a pretty. Listen, you know. Nice. And, oh. Yo Johnson from downtown from the three point line. Something to keep in mind is that uh, look at now how Gigi is using Sakugan and how Seagullable is responding. Seagullable is consistently just not there anymore. They're backdashing away and stuff when they see it and then actually punishing Gigi's. So, like, you can't. You have to stop Sakuganing Gigi's. It is not the time. Oh, Put man. it away. Uh, and, and Gigi's getting on a huge punish there right off of the. Uh, <gasps> the oh, no! Dude, that's. Listen, that that does a number on the chip health bar. That's even more of a number on, on, on Gigi's brain's health bar. And gun coming out, gonna be... Uh, just Dude. Just kind of throwing that out there. Why not, you know? Sea Gullible is gonna get yelled at by, like, the EPA. They're polluting the air with so many buttons. <laughs> like, it is just... They are just a flying hitbox at all times. <laughs> and Gigi's is like, help. Sea Gullible oh, gets the knockdown there. Needs a little bit more. Yo, Johnson pulling back down the ground. Gigi's, what are you doing? They're just oh, chips. Yeah. <laughs> He's a fly, man! He doesn't want to be on the ground! <laughs> the and punish with the 2k! Nice! Gigi's able to scramble all the way to double Luigi! <laughs> Listen, man, you gotta... Oh, man, those... I, I know the name now. Those Sakugans coming out and... Oh, my God. Seagull's going for these parries. It's kind of scary. And oh, my God. <laughs> The toes are exposed. They're getting caught. GG's is now running the GG's game plan to the corner. What is Seagullable going to do? Oh They're getting Sakugan on the next Tuesday. <laughs> They've got a little bit of life. And listen, we have its command throw from GG's. I want to see that thrown. And we're going to be brave. <gasps> and that's honestly the boom. Beta blade. Oh, oh my uh, god. Wait a minute. He, he was dashing. He I think he was just moving. I know. You blocked this. Huh? What? 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 Huh? what? Wait. 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 What? <laughs> 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 wait! Wait! <laughs> wait! Did he DP? It clashed. Mash 5D. The 5D also clashed and then like just mashed a button. Is that what happened? <laughs> oh my god! <laughs> Oh, man, dude. Dude, this... Ah, it's anime season, man. They know what they're doing. The... Oh, that was sick. That was sick, dude. Dude, I, that was the most... That I gotta say, if you are... Uh, if you're Seagullable there, I don't think you can be upset. That was just... You are clashing blades. Just the most, like... <laughs> Bro, that was some uh, 11 p.m. on Adult Swim type anime beat. Like, that was some wild stuff. Holy moly. Gigi's pulling up on the bike saying, hey, you should be a ninja with that. Because that was... I've never seen that. I've never seen anything like that. I was command. Wait, hold on, hold on. I'm actually going to pull this up. Sorry, you're getting double gin right now. But this is critical. Let me... uh, Let's do a little bit of analysis on this situation. Why don't we? Okay. <laughs> what the hell happened? I just want to check. 
All right, so what happened? She did super, right? He's beta blading. It clashes. He 5Ds, PRCs, <laughs> blocks a second hit of the super. <laughs> that was so confusing. It was like, I think that... Dude, I don't even know. Can we get... Just dig it. Go, go, go. It's just... What confused the hell out of me was 5Ding in the middle of it. Like, <laughs> Dude, I, I, is, is C over here? Can we get some, can we get some like, insider information on what the 5D was doing? I think they were just mashing so many buttons <laughs> that they accidentally got 5D into RC. <laughs> like, I think that's all that happened. Oh, man. Wild. Thank you so much for playing, you two. I really appreciate it. So, C Gullible is going to drop down to the loser's side of top eight. Uh, which means that we are in... Let me just double check the bracket here. Do, do, do. Oh, the next up, we should be getting Lil Hot Dog versus Box of Rocks. Ooh. This is what I want to see. This is going to be a good one. So getting a little hot, taking the jacket off. As so we get into some spicy games. It, we are getting into some real spicy games here. Absolutely. Okay, so we do have our full top eight. Hold on, real quick. Our top eight from top to bottom. GG, C Gullible, Lil Hot Dogs, and Box of Rocks on winner's side. And... Siboshi, Siboshi, Jordan kicks ass, has made it all the way to top eight loser nice. side. And Stinky Steve and Strotch, Lord Strotch, the gold Ooh, Lewis we nice. saw earlier, has made it into top eight. Good to hear. Lots of these names we've already spectated, so it's going to be super cool to see them coming back on there. But Stinky Denmark Steve did. Sorry, you're new here, so you don't know the Crouching Idiot narrative, but Crouching Idiot is usually always the crowd favorite. Uh, Stinky Steve did eliminate Crouching Idiot, which does award oh, them... No! And it does award them Antagonist of the Week. So, you know, everybody, Stinky Steve. Stinky Steve, they're a lovable villain tonight. They're they're the anti-hero. No, Crouching Idiot, I do remember seeing them last week. It's a, it's a <laughs> name that sticks out. It's a, It's a name that sticks with you, for sure. It's also a player who sticks with you if you've ever played him or watched him play, but we are just going to wait for our next two players to get on in here. If you're ready, hit the buttons, you two. Don't just stand there with your little mallet or whatever the hell you're using. It's like a Klee from Genshin. And Did you just make man. a Genshin Impact reference on my stream? Uh, fuck. Why this not? is your time to deny it. <laughs> uh, nope, nope. I, I misspoke. Yeah, Sorry, I'm talking about uh, the Genshin Impact. My favorite... Uh, <laughs> <laughs> Blimp game. And looks like Millie is gonna be getting the getting the mix started up. Put an Eno in the corner, and Ow. ooh, gonna be getting the double JH into 2K into 2D, sending Eno through, and ooh, they're gonna be 16 the chemical or no, the stroking. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, it's, it's hard to do the auctioneer commentary. <laughs> it really is, man. So you don't really the name. Like you know the names, you don't know what they are. Whoa, no, she accidentally <laughs> dove straight to the disc. Okay, YRC. <gasps> Oh. Oh, sorry, names are wrong. It should be Lil Hot Dog. Lil Hot Dog is still like five for five on reversal wingers, right? That's the second reverse or, uh, winger kill we've seen. And, and it's the is... second winger kill. That's amazing. Make a wish. Oh, man. And oh, yeah. Hot Dog is kind of dominating this. Looks like, I mean, Boxer X is going to pretty quickly going to have to learn how to get rid of the schmix. And it looks like, I mean, Millie is just such a fast mover. Able to <sighs> just. Moving around. Dash oh, around. no! Yeah, I was going to say, that's going to... You're yeah. actually just dead. Caught singing from full screen. Milia is not a fan of music. She hates it. Get out of here. So, l l just like that. Thanks. Little hot dog. Very quickly, he's going to be one on the board. Damn. Damn. Pretty gross. <laughs> you know, it's funny. This matchup, I feel like this might actually be one of the most fast-paced matchups in the game. Like, neither of these characters want to block. Like, as soon as they block, oh, yeah. they are sad. Exactly. And, and, and you know, I'm, I'm no Eno. I don't think she has tons of options. So once Million go in, there's really not a lot Eno can do. But it looks like Eno's going to be open with the counter hit, throwing out the chemical love, and putting the prey on the Milia. Getting the burst out nice and early. Ooh, what? Big counter hit. Yeah, no, Eno does not have a lot of good defensive options. With 50 meters, she can do her reversal super, um, but, you know, obviously that's fallible in many ways. Mashing back dash there, trying to get something going. That is the one big thing Eno's got. She's got an absolute crack 6P. Her 2K duty clash actually comes out on top there, but still winds up in the defensive position. Box of Rocks has just not been able to get the Eno stuff started. Are you dead? Oh, man. And no, no, this melee combat doesn't kill. <gasps> Even with the red RC, it doesn't kill. Even if maybe not, maybe not kills. 
<laughs> Sorry, Jin, you lose. <laughs> what? <laughs> it's just diving cool. across Man, the screen. Why is it? Box Rock saying I fly too, but is going to be getting hard knocked down. And oh, yeah. I think Lacey Hot Dog is setting the pace for this. Definitely now on the back foot as Eno's corner game is kind of scary. Going to be getting jumping. H. Oh. Going to be getting super. Oh, that's a so much damage. Watch out for the winger. Watch out for the winger. Okay, little hot dog jumping back. That's the funny thing is I feel like little hot dog. Oh my oh, god, that six man, piece swatted her from the back. I can't believe oh. that. Wow, the neutral mace. Damn, yeah, insane. Listen, you don't like music. I'm gonna, I'm gonna, I'm gonna get into your ear. And oh wow, fire slash into the hair. What? Dashing around in the air and getting to get too deep. Oh, a gold first from the what? million. What? 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 <laughs> okay, little hot dog. I know that you're a winger fan. That might have been too much winger, but as I say that, you know, little hot dog definitely has control of the corner. We're gonna be going back to mid screen. Little hot dog, uh, get in the six piece winger. I'm wing and Rose beach stroke. Same side low. Hot dog's mix is gross, Jin. I don't like it. Yeah, hot dog. And, and that's one thing Hot Dog is doing is remaining so, like, unpredictable with the burst, you know? Going same side low, same side high, other side, other side high, and, you know, Milia, oh god, blocking against her is a nightmare, and Hot Dog is definitely showing that. Yeah, no, I mean, uh, Amelia is definitely a character where when her offensive swing is happening, if your opponent is not able to put a stop to it in any way, it is bad news bears 100% of the time, so... Uh, GG's there. They're going to be moving on to Winner's Finals. Right now, Winner's Finals is looking like GG's and Hot Dog. That is going to be Chip oh, Milia. Man. Oh, brother. Uh, God, man. That should be a fight and a half. But speaking of fight and a halves, everybody, next up, we're going to be having Jordan Kicks Ass going up against Saboshi. We have seen Saboshi on stream before, but Jordan Kicks Ass was the Nagori Yuki that we saw way earlier in the tournament, so this should be a real good one to watch. So, top eight so far has been what? It's been a Chip, a Biken, a Milia, an Eno, a Nagori Yuki, a Gold Lewis, and then uh, Stinky Steve is Anji? Whoa, the character diversity. You'd love to see it. Honestly, yeah. I think got a lot of characters that you wouldn't normally see, and, you know, like you said, no happy chaos, no, none of these, you know, quote unquote, you know, heavy quote unquote high tier characters. You know, yeah, stuff not... like the Ramlethal and whatnot. It's, it's, it's cool. It's cool. And that's what the, I think that's one of the coolest things about beginner tournaments is, you know, people don't care about tier lists. They just pick whoever the hell they want to play. Yeah. I mean, you know, you turn the game on and you're just like, that's a cute guy. And then that's, that's, it. that's, that's a decision, right? It's made <laughs> easy. Hey, what the, we still, you still got a little, a little twerp here. Pulling the mallet, yeah, get out of here, get out of here. <laughs> Wait, what? <laughs> no, 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 we, one of the, I think one of the players was still on the, uh, on the, on the stand. <laughs> oh. <laughs> so, it's all right, we got Saboshi versus Jen Kicks. Out. Okay, we do have two Bikins in the big top eight, but we do have Saboshi going up against Jordan Kicks ass, which does make this the samurai fight. This is... Of any intro to skip, that might be my favorite one to not skip, but you know what? It's all business. They're two samurai, and it's all business because there's a round start at 6 p.m. Immediately, Jordan kicks ass. Trying to go for the Fukio back far slide. That was still a punish? Bro, he was chilling. Oh. And dude, I don't, I don't know. Most characters are so scary. Once they get going, and it looks like Vikings are going to be establishing dominance when the red RC, but going to be burst out. Ow. Ow. Oh, no. Ow. Dude, oh. They, <coughs> oh, my Super? God. They fought. They follow Noobenheimer on Twitter. They saw the combo, and they're just going to be going for it. That's pretty crisp. This is going to be doubly bad for Saboshi, because on top of just almost dying, a bite kills here. Post slash pressure. Jordan has so much meter to spend. I'm telling you, man, it's the ghetto jump back Mega Fist. That is the Edo period Mega Fist. Oh, the YRC is going to blast her back to full screen, but the 2S is a little bit faster than that big old 2H. Jordan. Dude, okay, listen, you have a bit of a controversial opinion, but right. I kind of like watching Nago. You know, like, oh, fine. You kind of like Nago? Dude, like, okay, listen, when he, he's getting picked, like, you know, like, when he's five out of eight in the top eights, you know, it's just fun, but, you know, the occasional Nago, it feels good to watch. He's a, a fun watch. He can be a fun watch, and pulling out the gun, going to be Ow. guard crushing Nago. Nice. Nago's just, oh, my God, says, no, I'm going to dash in. I'm going to take you out. I'm, woo -hoo. No, I mean, yeah, I think that's always the that's the case with a lot of 
fighting games, but also video games in general, right? Where it's like, you can get sick of a character because they're just really common. Um, it doesn't mean that the character is, like, I think much less cool, right? Here's an example. I don't like Elena in Street Fighter. I also don't like Elena in Street Fighter 4 because she's broken and <laughs> made the game sad. <laughs> this, there's a ah. parallel here. I think the Goryuki's neat. <laughs> He's allowed. <laughs> I like him. He's a cool guy. And you know, not a really strong character, but um, enjoyable. You know, I think a lot of people definitely have less of a distaste of Nago than, than you know the broken messiah who shall not be. Yes, the Beyblade's gonna be gone. Uh, yeah, the whatever the heck that's. You know, people see a Holmes Duck troll on screen and they just get upset. What can I say? Oh, big yeah. block on the gunshot there. Okay, Jordan has Ooh, all the opportunity in man. France here. Well, Sabo dude, Saboshi's a big 2P 6K gamer. That's a little risky. I wonder if Jordan will start mashing. Oh, man, the pity into the red RC. And... <laughs> so she's going to be taking that one pretty handily, saying, I don't need a sword to block sword. I got my hands. Oh, no. The round start is in Jordan's favor. Is this going to oh, slip away my. from Zaboshi that quickly? Okay. I just... Actually, got... Oh, that's not with it. Dude, his sword is so tiny. He doesn't have blood yet. <laughs> it's only reaching <laughs> nowhere. God, and you just see 10 seconds in the match how much damage Naga did to Biken. But Biken reta retaliated a bit, but being pushed right back in the corner into the defensive end. Zaboshi. Oh, man. Zaboshi. oh no. I can't believe Saboshi burst in there. <laughs> now we're going to this last round. Saboshi's got no burst on deck. You gotta get those hero bursts. I I, I get Iris. Uh oh. Oh my God! Getting back thrown into the corner. 2K 2D and not <gasps> not. Oh! Bro, okay, usually bike and parry is like a threat, right? And you don't see it actually that much. You just know it's a thing. But tonight has just been the night of bike and... <gasps> the, the tether oh let her stay God. in his face and whiff punish that 5k. That's insane. That's unfortunate. It looks like... Oh, man. I'm showing that she's got Seven. some sword play of her. And... <gasps> what I see? And... Oh, no. Finds toes. To, almost still has blood to spend. That should have been. Okay, still worked oh, out. Nice. Jordan man. kicks ass. Is going to be moving on here over Saboshi. GG's to Saboshi. You made it all the way to top eight. You made it all the way to top eight for Flem Octopus for the big 26 months. Thank you so, so much, brother. I really appreciate you. Um, for those of you who don't know, by the way, if you're like, hey, seventh place and you're you know you're typing in your twitch chat and you're like what's so impressive about that and you're eating your cheetos or whatever tonight's bracket if you don't know has 64 players in it right as it does every other week uh how many people entered tonight i want to say it was like 140 or something so like you know taking the big seventh we take those, absolutely, 100% of the time. GG, Saboshi is going to be going out in big seventh place. Jordan is going to be moving on to fight C Gullible. Oh, my God, Jordan is fighting oh, the Biken Gauntlet. Somebody throw Jordan a lifeline. <laughs> and listen, Jordan, Jordan's about to want to be showing. He's the last Sam. Yeah, it's the last Sam. I don't know, Samurai. man. I'm feeling it. I'm feeling, I'm feeling, I don't know, Jordan's looking pretty good. <laughs> i to toss that out there. Heck, yeah. Uh, next up is gonna be Stinky Steve and Strotch. Oh, God. So this is gonna Ooh, be... Anji, Gold Lewis. Anji and Gold Lewis. So, I mean, uh, the funny thing is that you really don't want to spin Drone ever. Drone can be a real big problem for Anji, I think. You're, like, you don't have a lot of awesome options for it, I don't think. Um, <laughs> Generic Soda is here, though. He's our expert Anji correspondent in the chat. We'll be dropping Anji lore the entire time. What are, what are Anji's weapons, Generic Soda? What are they called? Are they called... I think they're called fans. Bones. Thanks, Jin. I appreciate it. Oh, okay. What? We saw the JD oh, from Strach oh this time. <laughs> pretty pretty crazy. So he's throwing in the fusions and getting Gold Lewis right back to the corner. Getting the bursts out. Drone coming out and is going to be putting pressure on Anji. going to have to FD that. It looks like they just going right back in the new room, but nah. Uh-oh. Ooh, man, what a map throw. It's such a scary place for Anji to be. Going to be getting guard crashed. Going to be getting chipped. Has to use bar on that stuff. Oh, God. Damn it. Oh, no. that That's what I'm telling you, though. That's the unfortunate thing of trying to learn Gold Lewis. You saw that was supposed to be he and accidentally got the 2 age. He just landed on his ass and was like, Well, I hope I don't get whiff punished. That'll be just <laughs> unfair. 
But back in, had the meter to spend, oh backdash. No, missed the, th that should, should have been just far slash, but it's all right. We swang in the coffin. We doing the thing. Just, yeah, letting it rip, dude. I'm not, I'm not feeling the music, man. I'm not feeling the music. I want to throw that out there. Isn't this birthday train? This is like a meme song in Beginner Cup. Everybody's like, pick birthday train. <laughs> nah, oh my god, gonna be spinning the coffin with the throw. Of course, yeah. That Anji corner pressure on. I feel like Anji can get a lot more than a throw off of a spin to Behemoth, right? I feel like Gold Lewis is minus 7 billion. I don't know the frame data, but. Listen, I'm not, I'm not oh, oh no! God! Oh, not, oh, not even getting cranks with taking over. Oh, right back oh, at you, dude! Oh, I can do it, too! Stinky Steve! That's what you like to see. Oh man, taking that drone pressure and just turning it against Gold Lewis with the clutch if he gets you. They got a, oh. a pretty early nice. Going out. He's even a little bit aggressive, I think, with that throw after that spin, but it's alright. Strach getting the 6P thrown. Gotta hold this butterfly pressure. How does it feel to block a projectile, old man? <laughs> oh, 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 he no, jumping! That's not the Dude, everyone has a back mega fist, I swear to god. Everyone in the cast. They just, <laughs> it's called different things. Yeah, that, that <gasps> is, uh, oh man, that's. And, oh my, it's gonna be a back throw. Look, aren't you still so <gasps> What in the. What? Huh? What in the. Bro, oh, okay. Stinky Steve is. Stinky Steve is feeling something, but it's. It's working, gonna be red RC. I'm gonna keep the pressure up with the Fujin. Hitting the overhead, throwing the butterfly. Getting. Oh man, and this is pretty scary. So Lewis is not really able to do much here, but oh, so caught by the far slash. Uh, or no, that's sorry, not far slash. That was six P. Six P looks a lot like far slash if you just see it like that. Stinky Steve is gonna take that first one. That was super interesting, right? Like, is really abusing that um the counter super there because I think I don't know if there's a chance, right? That Strauss uh -huh. just didn't know that that guard crushed, right? They're like, I'm gonna block it. We're gonna be cruising, uh -huh. and they're like, "Oh no, he's plus, <laughs> right? Like he's just he's guard right. crush and still getting thrown in the corner." Um, I feel like Strauss is trying to like solve this live, but Stinky Steve kind of got the better of them there. They are up one point right now. Also, yeah, that was the first I think uh, transatlantic gold burst I've seen. That was nowhere. <laughs> you know. Oh, okay, that's the second transatlantic gold burst I've seen. <laughs> you were seeing both. Listen, sometimes you just gotta those those first <laughs> you, You're cursing it with commentary, but uh, Steve is pretty handily getting a nice lead, but uh, Goldblast is gonna be the 60. Gonna be getting thrown in. Man. These spins are like, really eating Strach alive, dude. And now um, Strach is gonna have to find a. Oh, there's the game plan right there. Finding it real quick. And oh, we're gonna be cool for Steve. Anji with 100 meters is real scary, but it looks like Fat Millie is coming out getting <gasps> the mix-ups and... Oh, no! Anji with 50 no. meters, a lot less scary. No behemoth! Oh, my God! Such a just... <laughs> just <laughs> shoot him! I did not expect... Oh, the big 6P! Okay, what's the neutral game plan, Strach? Gets the oh, one-up throw! He's a Kai. He was a Millie before, now he's Kai. Oh, man! And Steve is gonna have to figure something... And, oh, my God, listen! Strach has found the answer. All you do, listen, it's just, oh, what in the hell was that tea bag? It's just like Leo, man. Just throw Leo, just on G. And oh my god, oh 2K2D my into god. doink. Oh. He's gonna be living, has that on G life. Oh my yeah, god. Oh Bro, my have god. Any, have either of them blue burst? Has it happened? Listen, burst, is, burst is not a defensive tool bounce. <gasps> You're disgusting. Whoa. You're sick. You're vile. I hate you. Give me $100. Oh, to get the close slash. Okay, oh, okay, first gold burst. The... Or blue burst, rather. <laughs> and oh, man, this is. I, I, I'm at a loss for words right now. Block on the YRC. Oh, Keeping no. it going. Can you keep the rhythm up? Strat, if you keep the rhythm up, he's dead. He's dead. He's stinky. He's stinky. Oh, he's stinkier than all the rest. <laughs> Come back, able to block the yellow C. Get those, those clean converts, and oh, that's what you like to see. That's good guilty. Gear. That is definitely someone who, um, I mean, just the previous now, I think it definitely was getting to them that you know, getting grabbed with out of the spin, but yeah. keep composure. And listen, that is one thing that is crazy. You know, I think that tonight, um, lots of these players keeping their composure, which is so hard to do as a I feel.
no, yeah, that was uh, really, really good on Steve there. Keeping it all together at the very end there. Managed to make that big old comeback. Strotch is going to be out tied for seventh place. GG's to Strotch. You were definitely playing your absolute heart out tonight. I do believe that next up is going to be C Gullible and Jordan kicks ass, unless I'm wrong. I don't know. Two people are going to show, are going to walk up and start playing some Guilty Gear, and we're going to start yelling. Yeah, you know, and whatever character it's going to be, it's going to be pretty cool. It's going to be all right by me. Uh, we are... And who's going to be? It is indeed going to be Jordan Kicks Ass and C Gullible. Okay. So again, Jordan Kicks Ass, they are not done with their nightmare yet. They have to navigate the loser's bracket, which for them is just bikins from C to signing C. So many bikins. I mean, once again, yeah, Bikin, I feel like you can do well, but it looks like C is going to be starting out pretty, pretty aggressive. Don't have the Tommies. Big far slash. Oh, man. That's a pretty good kind of hit. Oh no, those aren't the ones that you can whiff! And oh man, this is the play of biking coming out, get, trying to go for the last up, but it's actually gonna be sent right back to the corner. And it looks like George's gonna be able to get something started here. Yeah, unfortunately, that 6H whiffed, made that not as plus as it could have been, but this gunshot sure is plus. Oh, the JP! Who just oh, does air dash no. in JP, you weirdo? That's what you gotta do, man. You gotta be a little wicky to start getting these wins. We're gonna be getting a, a, a smack into a Beyblade and going Oh, that's the first right bite! I think Jordan's taking, done. Taking a fat bite at a bike and going cross up with his own gonna be getting punished for a bike and you still have burst, but it looks like you're just hoping you're gonna be holding Ow. on to it. And that was done pretty handily by Jordan. Yeah, Jordan kind of just held six and did the Nagoriyuki thing there, but it always happens, right? Yeah, don't worry about it, walk it off. Sometimes Nagoriyuki goes crazy. And honestly, that's that's one of the cool things, you know. You see some Naga, <gasps> and oh! I didn't know he was about to pop. I wasn't looking. What did he do to pop that fast? <laughs> I don't even know. But sees the Kamari come out. He's able to block it. And oh, that could have been a disgusting punish. But you know, it's kind of a fun. Sometimes you take what you can get, but take what you can get. Okay, lends a JS and a Kabari. Too far away for Far Slash, though. Oh, he's swinging. Jordan Fu going in, gets the throw. RC, oh, is this enough? Man, and... Oh, he dumping blood. He's about to pop! <laughs> if oh, if C Gullible had lived for another second, that boy was about to pop. <laughs> Double blood pop in one round. That would have been pretty hype. And like, I don't know, man. That's that's kind of the cool part about Naga is you can you play passive, but then once like once you start getting towards the end of the rounds, you Naga's just going crazy. They don't care about the pop. They just wanna they just throwing stuff out there. It's so cool. So cool. Yeah, you love to see it. It's, it's the yeah, it's a Hotashi game plan, right? It's just like, well, they can't kill you if you're if they're dead, right? Like it doesn't you're matter. You're so spend, right. Spend as much blood as you can. Go feral. Cloning in and Fukio, dude, he's cranked. You're gonna oh pop my again. God, the Beyblade. Jordan what? is super popping. No, he's Jordan's not. Gonna... Jordan is a blood no, man. God, I apologize to Jordan. Holy moly. Sadly, not. and listen, you know, I'm I'm thinking Jordan watches some Nubenheimer. You know, Nubenheimer has those explosive round starts, and it looks like Jordan's kind of going for the same thing, using so much blood, um, and just putting so much pressure on the bike. And this is such a oh man, this is a really scary situation to be in. And what what did you do to trade? You whiffed the jump in into just a five p a trade, and you won. That's <laughs> weird. <laughs> Hopefully you didn't arrive late to this tournament. To play, you might be a little late unless your name is Seagullable or Jordan Kicks Ass. I'm sorry. But right, Seagullable no, still got, got they've got 50 bucks, yeah. so I mean there could be a gunshot around the corner. There could be anything. Although I feel like Seagullable, they shot <gasps> No, you were just saying? <laughs> saying Seagullable's the nastiest in the business with the gunshots. No. Oh no, no, back oh, throw incident! No. Nice, okay. I'm gonna get that burst and I think that was actually such a good time to burst, because you know, oh man, going for the cross up. Going to, uh, Tommy's going for the jump. What? Four? Five D? Oh, no, oh, oh, wait, what? Oh, God. See, Bro. the training place of Overwatch 2 tomorrow. <laughs> Gunshots. <laughs> My man got blasted. <laughs> I think, um, Seagull's definitely seen that. There are a lot of, um, pokes, and uh, gun is definitely a way to deal with that. 
It, I mean, it totally is. I mean, if you're if you catch on to a pattern, right? Like if you uh, if you catch on to like Nagoriyuki is gonna two H me when I'm in the air, right? You just shoot him. But now oh Jordan God. might be learning a little bit, right? He's like, okay, wait, they're just gonna blow 50 meter for no reason. I'm just blocking. Now you two H her. She's got no money. You fly her into the corner. We're cloning. We're six H her. We're using RC to extend. We found oh, a place. Oh, oh, man. H. Jordan kicks ass, is going to take it over Sea Gullible 2 Oh, they've made it through the biking gauntlet. Also, hold on, very important. John Nitty, how's it going, dude? I hope you're doing well. Some of you, if you're an FGC boomer, you may know John Nitty. He wears a hot dog suit. That's it. That's all you really know about John. But how's it going, buddy? Oh, but <laughs> Jordan is going to make it there over Sea Gullible 2 0, blasting his way through the bike inside of the bracket. So they're going to be big chilling up in loser semis. They're going to be waiting to fight the winner of Box of Rocks and Stinky Steve, dude. Ooh, what is that? That's going to be what? An Eno versus an Anj. Dude, that's so cool. You know, you don't see these kinds of matchups all the time. I mean, if you're if you're running around in town with the characters, you'll probably get it. But this is. Um... Oh, man. Sorry. It's getting so hype. Not used to, to talking this much, talk, uh, screaming this much, but did I so hyped, so many cool things. Got the dragon, got the wing kills. We we should have had some bingo something for tonight. Should have some bingo. That's a good idea. That's like a like a bingo <laughs> for like bike and pair, like bike and Perry's total five. <laughs> like, <laughs> <laughs> yeah, honestly. that that kind of you know how when, you know taking down some stats and stuff like that. Yeah, no, I mean, we do have a stats person in the chat, but they mostly do player stats. Tillian is hanging around somewhere. I think that they said that this is now the 20th unique, uh, which character was it that's in top eight? I think, uh, Biken? I think we have a Biken problem. All right, and Boxer Rocks using the, those chemical loves that, you know, they definitely really do like missing. And, oh, man, I gotta Bro, get he was just into the throw. <laughs> and honestly, like, you can see Sticky Steve was definitely a big fan of the... Uh, the twirls and oh man, Anji gaming is happening, but Boxer Rex is able to burst, get out of the corner. Oh no, getting barely caught by that, getting tossed around. Yeah, what and gets get hit by the. Okay, Stinky Steve is so mean at resets. It's like unnecessary resets. You had to do the hop and the throw just for extra psychological damage, you bad man. Man, you could, you could, you could have stopped that sentence right there. At stinky Steve is mean, and I would have believed you. Stinky Steve, I don't know how to tell you this. You're stinky. Boxer Rocks, though, <laughs> able to kind of get this corner pressure started. What did they got? The FD actually pushed them out there, so 2K2D didn't reach, but Ooh. was able to tech that off of the JH. My boy is spinning. What do you do? Man. And we'll see if Boxer Rocks is going to be able to adapt. Just maybe, honestly, like, you, you know, I, I don't try to recommend it, but a run-up throw with all of the spinning that Stinky Steve is doing could be Bad idea. He's able to get that corner though. Get the chemical. I'm not gonna. Ooh, hard yeah, it's a throw. Think he's got 50 bucks. Why did you go? <gasps> no way. That's why, Bones. No way. No, no didn't get the combo. No. Oh god. Oh god. <laughs> Wait, no, no, no. Oh my god. What just happened? Okay. <sighs> Did not work out for Steve there in the end. That was actually crazy. <laughs> Looks like they. I, I don't think Steve expected to hit the, the, the counter. I think he did. I think he just dropped the conversion. Steve has shown that they have saucy conversions. That might just not be one they have to do very often. <laughs> and yeah, dude, once you get in those situations, you know, hands start shaking, you get a little scared, and going for the contract to get to again by the looks of it. Wanna... Oh, yeah. man, no bar, no YRC, not able to do much of anything. It's going to be sent through, but Anji, got... Anji has a deceptively large amount of health right now. It might... No. Gets a big throw. Anji still has quite a bit. In the no! Oh Steve. God, that gold burst is so. <laughs> he's, just, he's just pumping that counter super. Wait, hold up. No, didn't get the full counter. Oh, the stroke is man. gonna close it out. I feel like Steve had just a couple of unfortunate drops at the end there. I he could have made that happen. I think with that oh, uh, the money sure. he had. I am a hundred percent sure that if if Steve. And listen, I don't know if it's a composure thing or just not having enough health to work with, but Steve, you know, I, I see a world Steve was definitely able to bring that back. I, I also see a world where Steve could have brought that back. I, I I think if that combo had, like, completed, I think Eno is dead. Eno does not have a lot of hype, and people have a lot of things to say about Anji around him being a weaker character, but one of those things is not damage. Anji can explode you, like, pretty quickly with the oh, right amount yeah. of meter and stuff. Um, so Anji I think Eno could have been dead. Twerking under the HDL. Anji was just 50 meters, that's much damage. Oh, very quick burst. I mean, 
Honestly, Boxer Rock's applying a ton of pressure with the HCS. Going for some strokes in the... Maybe the throw? Going to seal and corner prep from G. And oh man, Boxer Rock's is such a job getting out of there. Boxer Rock's still working with... Never mind, going to be using the 50 meter good. RC. Wow, that did a combo lot. on Anji. Yeah, Anji's and not that fragile of a dude and able to get the reset in the corner here. You have to be cautious with taking Steve having super. Gonna do your own super. No! Mess it up! Got the 5S! You have left Steve alive! You may live to regret dude, this! I'm, I'm telling you, box tracks right here gonna be looking for that purple RC into 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 okay. I thought they were gonna to try to sauce on him with that purple RC and super, but just gonna get a pretty simple chemical love. No, I uh, Megalovania, I think in that situation is gonna be kinda hard to represent or anything like that. I, I was expecting Stroke RC, but not they were not. They were just chilling. Recognize they had so much life, they were able to kind of keep it simple there. Gets the IADJH, and now Stinky Steve forced to kind of play this full screen game. Wow, that was a sneaky low. Yeah, man. Stinky Steve what? going for the bar slash right there to try to catch it. Oh, no, that's going to be driven. not a very spotty if you're boxer right now. And getting them stout. Wanna, I'm just going to do a little bit of try and get Eno back to that corner. And she, you know, she's Bro. just doing it herself. She's pushing him back into this end. Oh, I see. Oh, oh, no. Disaster has struck, oh, Jin. Why, RC? Get the butterfly oh, off me! Oh, oh, and Harry's into the two cats! Uh, oh, that was getting really scary right there. That was getting so scary. Box of Rocks is going to move on there over Stinky Steve, but really good stuff to Stinky Steve. Played so well all night. Steve is going to be going out tied for fifth. G. G's indeed. Good job there to the good old Stinky Steve. Uh, Box of Rocks there moving on. Welcome, Eno, dude. Steve. And it's really cool. I mean, I, I, I'll keep saying it, but, you know, there's like the Eno who, I mean, I don't think there's very many players that settle like Daru, right? Um, I mean, I Diaphone kind of abandoned Eno but... as far as I know. It's a rare character at this point. I think the Eno's biggest problem, by my understanding, and you let me know if I'm horrendously wrong about this chat, but my understanding is that Eno specifically doesn't match up well with a lot of the characters that are the most common, <laughs> right, at, like, the highest levels of plays. Um, like, I think Eno scraps just fine against a lot of other characters, maybe slightly winning, slightly losing some matchups, but, like, I don't, I still think Eno does not like fighting Happy Chaos, like, at all. Like, I oh, just yeah. don't think that's I've, a thing I've he has fun with. Eno is uh, miserable against Happy Chaos because, you know, he gets those, he gets shots while you're trying to fly through the air and you just get jumped from across the screen yeah it's the problem also, is it's like how do i get in against happy chaos and people are like all you gotta do is a dash block and you go but doctor i play eno and then they're like you're pagliacci and you're like i'm sorry you just back down of happy chaos <laughs> you see uh so you're gonna have you lost soul in the chat good to see you lost soul oh is that lost soul That's extraordinaire is that the lost that soul? is the lost soul. That is hey the how's it going dude Hope you're big joke. You got Lossal, I gotta say, Exert getting rollback made me like somewhere Lossal is like, yes. It is happening. <laughs> also, I didn't say hi to you I at Evo. Know. I I commentated a match of yours, and I meant to like come out there and say hi, and I just like totally forgot. I'm sorry. <laughs> hi, Lossal. Keep with um Romola, do you know if she, if she's gonna be going back to Zard with all of the role changes and whatnot. Well, hold up. She's gonna be sticking with Shaq. Hold up, Jin. Hold up. Ooh. I'm gonna, I'm gonna have to ask you to stop. You're talking about Romola and stuff. We're not talking about Romola right now. We're talking about the two people who are in winners finals. GGs and Lil Hot Dog. This is gonna be first to three, everybody. Some Chip and Millie action. All right. Let's. Oh man, we're gonna be going well. for the gold. Gonna be calculated. Like I knew it! I way. knew it! Oh, I yes. smelled a rat! Sakugan is oh. blown up by the winger! That's not gonna be sending Sakugan back. Or the chip back. He's in the three hit of the record. It cost him a million. Milia, hoo, 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 taking so much damage here. And listen, 50% of this match is gonna be played in there, I feel. Milia's still working with. Sorry, and might, you know, I'm gonna have to look for death. Jeez, wow, yeah, GG's. Despite landing that early gold burst, Lil Hot Dog not able to do much with it. GG's just kind of running away with that. Seeing a far slash go through a mirage like that is like the most play the sad piano thing of all time. Why is it 2K2D? <laughs> oh, and Chip's gonna be going for the grab, and nice, very good. Uh, <laughs> that wasn't a punish! Oh, she just slowly walked up and counter hit. 
This is sometimes that's all you have to do. And oh, all right, we gotta get another. Ah, this kills. This has to be. Hey, Jin, thanks for coming on the show. You are currently 0-2. <laughs> <laughs> oh, no. Please tell me GG's does not make this comeback. Low Hot Dog gets another gold oh, burst. Oh, my God. Oh, oh. With the blue icy into the, the quick JH. Man. <laughs> <laughs> Man. <laughs> <laughs> I know those feels, but no. Chip guts and, oh, man, Beta Blade. Beta Blade is going to be scary to play around with H-Disc, but, you know, you can definitely get some mind games in with this. Okay, gone. We'll hit in the Milia. Bro, oh, I'm man. telling you, GG's never patched their game. They're playing on 1.0 with these Sakugans. <laughs> like, they're just coming out. Beta Blade actually gets so horribly punished there by Disc. It's best to get a bigger combo than if she just blocked it. Usually able to get the Hair Car RC extension to tack on another mm, six damage. <laughs> Come on, man. <laughs> you don't have to call her out like that, man. <laughs> wow! Oh, just tip Beta Blade, Blade from Beta space. Blade oh, and honestly, there's a world where Millia die follow these Alpha Blades. Okay. Yeah, didn't have the meter to extend, but I mean, this is close. Little Hot Dog's at 100 bucks. Mirage oh Ringer. God. He's got a hit! Did he get crossed up? Did he not know which way to block? Dude, I, I don't know, man. That, that's a real 50 50 right there. <laughs> I don't know how you'd have blocked that would be shit on you. Oh he definitely God, was just holding a direction like, I'm just gonna pray. <laughs> it just <laughs> was wrong. Honestly, dude, Winger, Winger being able to mix like that. It, it needs to be nerfed. Gotta yeah. nerf Melia. Uh, please nerf Winger. It is too overpowered of a super. Um, excuse me, Arc System Works. You're trying to say this game is balanced. Uh, uh, Arc System, I think Millie is just a little too strong. Uh, I don't have fun fighting her. I don't have fun fighting her, but I do have fun thanking the big Madrago for the big Primarooni. Thank you so much. Appreciate you. Oh, so Lil Hot Dog is up one. As a reminder, this is first to three. Not first to two like we've been doing all night. So this is going to be a little bit of a longer one. All right, and Lil Hot Dog did a good job kind of getting out of the corner, but is it going to burst? And, oh, man, Sakagon going out. and Oh, this is looking scary. And the six point out, bursts. And bursts are being used very fast here. It's just some good old-fashioned fighting. But that's going to be a fat punish right there. And Millie is definitely on the defensive right here. Not even able to get any bar that entire round. That Bro. is Million Gaming. There. The reset into the bonsai there. That was extra rude. And okay, the H disc letting me <laughs> just a little slap in the knee. <laughs> Get off. Me. Yeah, and, oh man, and yeah, you definitely see that hot dog knows that. Uh, you just want to be going for the beta blade. What? And, uh, <laughs> even there, just throwing it out there. What a psychopath. But let's see that if a player. You gotta be a little scared here, because if GG's lands a clean hit just Man. like this, this is gonna be Zoop Soups if they want it. No, they did not go for Zoop Soups. Reset back to mid-screen. <gasps> oh, no, no way! You did a full game. jump back gold burst. Lil Hot Dog is addicted. Oh Lil God. Hot Dog has been corrupted by the youths. I get that. But luckily, Capel will catch GG's. And oh man, she's command dashing. Gonna be getting the close slash in the 6H. And yeah, you can definitely see that Hot Dog is playing against the DP right here. Does not want to get DP by Chip. Um, as as the Sukiyaki is going to be coming up. And God, this Chip pressure is just so scary. Getting tossed around like a salad, sent through the wall. Yeah, not just be hard straight up mix with some Basalmic. That did so much damage. GG's doesn't have, I feel like, um, like the doesn't always convert with chips, so I love seeing them do that there and then securing that W for themselves. That is the power of landing a big old bombo there. Tied it up to one to one. GG's is looking good. GG's has looked good previously. For those of you keeping track at home, by the way, you may be saying, you know, why you're eating your Cheetos and typing on your keyboard at the same time. You're like, boom. If if top three all get banned. Then what's the what's the difference? They're already both uh, in the prize money. Here's the thing you got to consider, Jin. You only get one shot at winning the tournament, right? They are guaranteed top three, but this is their only chance to ever get first. So there's almost more stakes in this than anything else. Exactly. Okay. Honey, nah. You, you do this for the the. Oh man, those bursts are coming up fast. You do it to to say, hey, I got first place in a tournament, right? Yeah. You know, how many Guilty Gear players can say that? People on Twitter, they're going to be like, hey, who are you? You know, but listen, I, I'm a tournament winner when I am, though. And he's like, just <laughs> trading Kusigan and Kaffles. Oh, wow, the oh, 6P. Man, I feel like Millia's 6P is, like, both cursed and blessed to always hit people on the ground. Like, you try to anti-air with it, it just punches oh, them in the face. And they land. We winging, brother. That does good damage on ship. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> damage, but, oh, my goodness, the H-Disc coming out, and... 
putting so much pressure on the chip. Holy moly. It's just coming out, landing on the other side. Can I define a bombo? A bombo is a combo that makes me go. <laughs> if I make that noise, it was a bombo. <laughs> oh, big 6K! Oh, Whoa. man! What is this Milia pressure? <laughs> um, you know, she's. I mean, listen, I, you know. Oh my god! Chip Sakuga! Put the otter out! And oh, that shit pressure. You were just talking about pressure. It's showing he has pressure of his own. And here he, it is, dude. We <laughs> got Guilty Gear Airlines. I don't know. Oh, man, the Sokka kill. I'm, sub I'm shocked that Milia Close Slash lost to Sakagon. Mil Milia Close Slash is usually like... And for as many things as people say Millie is weak at, her close slash is a hella good button, right? Like, usually oh, it just yeah. kind of wins in those anti-air situations. I'm shocked it lost there. Taking the burst, trying to maintain the corner oh, pressure. Ba Beta Blade gonna beat it. <gasps> you blocked oh, Bonsai in the air. Defense, oh. But, oh, no. Um, oh, like, you can definitely tell how those the signs are coming, but just that's able to fully capitalize on them. Blade coming out with the cross-up, going back into the corner. Millie is going to be getting grabbed. Going to be getting tossed around. Oh man, I was about to say something. I can't say that on your stream, bro. Worry, <laughs> <laughs> yeah, now I'm scared. Yeah, don't worry about it. Regardless, GG's is going to put one on the board there. It, 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 full disclaimer: When I was talking to Jen earlier, Jen was like, "Hey, is there anything I shouldn't say on stream?" And I was the only thing I said was, "Don't say anything that ends in ussy." So I'm very scared that Jen said I can't say that on your stream because I basically only gave one rule. Oh man, <laughs> I wasn't gonna say. I wasn't gonna. Uh, nah, nah, I will say. I was not gonna start with that. And, you know, honestly, what I want to see, what I would love to see, is for Hot Dog to get some air-to-air -air conversions here. Uh, I think that Chip is definitely putting himself into a situation where, ooh, very good. Oh. Uh, Estes there. Ooh, good air throw. That was the meatiest hair car of all time. Sorry, they're putting this on situations for what? Um, oh my god, they're not gonna let me to the wing. It's just gonna go out, and that's gonna be a huge pun of Chip. And I, no, maybe not. You know, Chip had a lot of bar to work with, but he's not really gonna throw an eye. He's gonna use to keep up the pressure with the third hit of the Rekka. Oh, okay. oh man, I can't slam the. Canceling that with the, uh, the Kaplan. Good blocks from GG's, dude! God. That was actually OD defense from GG's. I cannot believe they blocked that all out and then properly got the reversal back throw, and now oh, they won? Man. Bro. GG's is feeling themselves. GG's, GG's paid $60 did. to block. He's like, I'm blocking and I love it. <laughs> How many times have we seen Mirage just beat 5H like that, dude? That's sick. Oh, man. I mean, like I was saying, you know, uh, I think, oh, the otter coming out. Gigi's put themselves in a, some pretty pretty scary situations where I think that a, a JS from Hot Dog would be able to catch them. But, oh, my God, dude, Gigi's is done playing. Gigi's is going ultra instinct on the Milia, putting her in such a scary situation right here. But, you know, she's yeah. not going to give up. Oh, my God. God oh, Bro, no! I can't believe Beta Blade basically functioned as a little command jump there. Just kind of move GG's for no downside, match the buttons after where GG's was absolutely cooking there. Like, yeah, I would agree with what you were saying. They were putting themselves in a lot of scary situations. Scary situations are basically whenever Millia has to block. A hairy situation, <laughs> it was whenever Millia is making you block. Because, you know, her hair is a... <laughs> see, get it? It's a, it's a Millia oh, joke, Jim. Oh, thanks my for, God. Thanks for being on the stream. I really appreciate it. <laughs> Why, you're uh, so funny. <laughs> <laughs> that sounded so cold-blooded. <laughs> GG's there to GG's, who's going to be chilling up on the grand finals side of the bracket. Uh, they're going to be big chilling. And so now we're going to have to do Jordan kicks ass versus Box O Rock. So oh, this is going to be, this is one of the highest stakes match of the night, everybody. Again, top three gets the prize, which the prize is that you are banned from life, right? From beginner bracket. Uh, so this match determines... Will you get into top three? Will you get banned? This is a huge match. I feel like we need a word for it. Like, this match needs to be, like, I don't know, um, like, the, the Purgatory Decider or something. I don't know. It needs, like, a cool name. You know, that was almost cool. <laughs> Why are you roasting me all of a sudden? <laughs> Sorry, I'm getting, I'm getting comfy. I'm getting, <laughs> we're we're know, getting, getting cozy getting getting... here. Time to be mean. <laughs> You call no, someone I... a, accidentally a cat girl once. I'm telling you, the gloves just come off. No, here I mean... we go. All right, so as a reminder, Jin, this is only going to be first of two. This is no longer first of three. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Between Box this of Rocks is... and Jordan. 
Like you said, this is a high stakes first to two. And what's the game plan here for Boxer Rocks? Yeah, so I think there's a there's a lot of stuff Eno can kind of do to help try to control this matchup. I think at a basic, basic level, a thing you need to keep in mind is that Nagori Yuki 5H will clobber you out of an air dash harder than anything ever, right? And the 6P is so good. Like, you really cannot get hit. And oh, 2H will wow, also do the like same insane. thing. And <laughs> oh, no! Box Rocks in <laughs> <laughs> position. And Jordan kicks ass still has a good amount of blood. And, oh, man, going for the grab. Going for the red RC. And a little bit of a drop around but it's okay. Well. Oh, God! We're having Eno for dinner! As Nago takes a big old chomp out. Yeah, Nago's taking a big old chomp Rooney. Do you play this? You know, I have a stream muted. Do you play uh, English Japanese voice? I have Jap Japanese voices on. Okay, I was trying to say, I know. Uh, Eno Ooh. has a pretty. Oh, man, for the 2H and a 4 so I'll keep it under pressure. I'm gonna be knocking that feet. Yeah, big ol' uh, pressured in the corner there. Oh my god! She oh. was nowhere near him, dude! He's got the Sonic Adventure 2 Battle Vacuum Hands! What was that? <laughs> Naga, Naga's got, got some long arms, able to just kind of snatch her right when he lands and toss her into the ground. I cannot believe how far away that grabbed her from. So just like that, that's... Unfortunately, you got to kind of see the volatility of Eno, right? And then the reason uh, that people say sometimes it can be a struggle is that against someone like Nagori Yuki, right? Nagori Yuki has a lot to him. He's, he's got a lot of blood. He's got a lot of uh, health. Like, Eno's got to do a lot of mixes on Nago to make it happen. Nagori Yuki has to touch her like four times, right? And she's dead. Um, <laughs> but we've also... Oh, man, what a round started is already down about 30 percent of her life yeah unfortunately and uh round start 6p from Eno can be pretty good but it will lose an agoriki round start dp that's kind of the main round start that forms the basis of how you have to think about the beginning of the matchup is how do you deal with the goriki dp you were going to be actually dead off that that was an important burst gets the big 5h okay you can get started here unless it <laughs> no oh but i'm going to be juggling her in there Oh man, this is definitely a scary situation for Boxer Rocks to be in, but freaking never most. Well, another big vacuum hands moment. Jordan is already one over Box O Rocks. Box O Rocks trying to play this round start a little different. You see how the 6P is kind of letting Jordan like spot dodge through the HCL. Ooh, Fukio back as a catch. I think the 2H oh. is going to blow up that HCL. Oh, Not oh. a full combo, but Box of Rocks is getting bruised right now. Next confirm. Will go into super. No, just uses RC to extend because they don't have blood to. Is Jordan going to pop? No, no, no. They're chilling. They got uh, one more in Jordan him. Jordan knows how to handle their blood really well, but it looks like Box of Rocks is definitely still in life. He juggling the Naga at his side and putting Naga into position where But he's just... Oh, no. Caught by 2S, and you're to blame. This 5H makes us a bad game. And just like that, unfortunately, Box of Rocks is going to be going out at fourth place. Everyone, please make some noise for Box of Rocks. They made it all the way here to big fourth. Good job tonight. We hope to see you again sometime soon. Try to make that run all the way. Jordan is going to be moving on to fight a little hot dog. In Lil Loser's finals. This should be violence at its finest, Jen. Oh man, and this this right here. Now this is a spooky matchup. You think it's a spooky matchup? It is it is the tis the season. You know, just like you said, um, very similar you know, you know, Millie is gonna have to schmix about seven to eight times just to kill Nago. And one touch from Nago even more volatile. Yeah, I'm Knowing actually. That... I, I forget who knocked Jordan down into losers because I feel like we saw it on stream and I wanted to double check. Yeah, you feel free. I'll handle the commentary. As the cap is going to go out, not going to be converting it, going to double sided JH into the 2K TV. That's what I thought. You know, I looked it up for a very important reason, Jin. Lil Hot Dog knocked Jordan down into losers earlier in the bracket 2-0. Oh, so man. this is a grudge match. So Lil Hot Dog maybe having a little bit of Nagora Yuki familiarity. This mixturization is happening. Oh, the throw doesn't end anybody. She's on oh, the other side, dude. Man. And listen, that was a bold hair car. But listen, if it's going to work, it's going to work. And oh, man, Lil Hot Dog making Millia look pretty heckin' good right here. Lots oh. of movement right here. Yeah, I think TP. one thing that, oh, nice throw catch right there. And, um, pretty scary spot, but, you know, 
Maya just went with Capo out of there. Jordan right into the corner. And good blocking there, but oh, no side throw. You're going to be going for getting the hard knockdown and going same slow. Hair car, stick finger. Big ol' winger gonna be able to attack on that 5 damage. See, that's how much damage it usually does. We saw it against Chip earlier, so y'all might have a skewed idea. Exactly. No, that's like the, that's a, that's Twitter winger. Yeah. Nice one. Twitter winger. winger. <laughs> oh, and yeah, this is just skip. Oh. Scary place for Millie to be. And, oh, oh, Jordan is just kind of letting. Okay. Oh, good purple. I see to be able to capitalize on that, but is not really a combo too much? Jordan's going out. This is going to be a hard knockdown going for the Jake uh, Yellow RC to kind of establish Ooh, the forward oh, grab. Yeah. Okay, Jordan is here to play, Jin. They, they're like 2-0. That ain't happening again, kid. Nah, Jordan is ready to go. Oh my god, Jordan's so much better early on. Get a knife, get that. Oh, and a very good. Twitch is a very good button to really catch a lot of. Uh, that's very aggressive, Billy. Really. No, it's not a side fish mix. Very good block, but going to get the bad moon. Yeah, first bad moon that we've seen, actually, I think, from uh, Hot Dog outside of combo situations. Now the disc is on. The overheads are coming. This is going to break the wall and do five damage to boot. You'll love to see it. Oh, but and you don't do it five damage. You do get that hard. Done, you do get that hard knock. It's kind of a whack and hard knock, I feel like, for Millie. A lot of the time, oh, did you do something? Man, I <laughs> think, oh, man. And Nog is going to say, listen, listen. You may have hit that combo. I'm going to do all of that in one super. And double what? kick you forward. Who does instant air JD? What was that going to do? Hit the I birds? I don't know. Oh, no. Oh, man. And the 2H is so filthy. And kid, come in the plate. Say it's a little hot dog. I eat those. Yeah. No, jo Jordan is here to kick ass and eat hot dogs. And I'm all out of ass. <laughs> they are going to get one on the board for themselves. <laughs> Here against Little Hot Dog again. Little Hot Dog knocked him down the losers before 2 0. So uh, Jordan is already uh, looking better, looking a little stronger. I, uh, I, I'm i interested to see how this goes. Hot Dog clearly, I think, has a lot of ideas and control over the neutral, but obviously, Nagoriyuki is such an explosive character. I think the big thing we're seeing is that Jordan's defensive tendency to go for like wake up throws and stuff is getting really exploited by Hot Dog. So I'm wondering if they're going to start. Uh, like electing to do different defensive options, maybe just start doing like wake up five P's or something. We'll find out. Mm -hmm. And you can definitely see that like Hot Dog is able to find a lot of different tools. You know, you, we saw the Bad Moon and oh man, Blue Eyes Secret Gold Burst and Naga is going to be Help. pretty scary here. This is going to be a fat combo. Help. And oh my god, look at the damage! Still going. <laughs> god. Milia just, and that's, that is why this is such a hard matchup for Milia, but Milia's not going to be giving up, getting up. Oh, and I think that they were going to go for an air combo there, but sadly is going to drop it. Okay, one more mix is going to do a BRC, pause in the clock, that was the oh, slowest 2H yeah. of all time, dude. That boy was caught in molasses, unsheathing that sword, Hot Dog. Hot Dog definitely not getting flustered by that, which I think is so impressive. I think that, you know, getting in a situation like that, oh, is going to catch 2K there. I think that... Maybe Jordan does know that the uh, hot dog does like to go for the, those two Ks. And like, <gasps> oh man, the command dashes! Ew, gross, disgusting. How'd she get over there? Gonna be able to break the wall here, do a grip of damage. We are going back to Nooch though, and Jordan still got a lot of blood to spend and a still fast 50 meter. You have to be scared of oh, this. Man. <gasps> oh man. When the gold burst coming out from Milia, she's gonna be able to put a lot of pressure in. Oh, <gasps> uh, 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 this is so weird. And, Wait, uh, wheel? Uh, uh, Catching nobody, he wasn't there. No, the JP does not catch. This should not kill. So it's gonna be one more mix. You gotta guess the close slash. The bad moon oh, is blocked. No, the bad moon. <gasps> and oh man, Naga is looking to close this out. As we go right back to neutral, it's gonna just take one move. It oh, Ooh, good block from Hot Dog, oh, but the two S catches, God. dude. The level two blood two uh, S that is a laser beam. Like it is just pfft, like hits you right in the toes. Able to get the knockdown here. So this is gonna be disc mix. Goes for the low this time. Hot Dog trying to adapt to how Jordan has been blocking previously. Oh, very, oh, the very good box right there. And, yeah, and you can see right here. <gasps> okay. Oh, gonna bite him with Doggo. You're gonna get hit by that super. Gonna be putting in a pretty situation. Finding his burst, and he's gonna be putting the pressure on Amelia right here in the corner. And Amelia's gonna have to jab out. Maybe the first time Amelia has ever pressed 2P in their entire life. <laughs> Press a button. <laughs> <laughs> oh! And the oh, to man. finish out the juggle, little hot dog. All right, spinning it right back at you. Gets the good old 1-1 one, one on the board. It is currently tied. 
We have, again, this is going the distance. This has to go all the way to three. Very good air conversion right there from uh, from Hot Dog. It's, it's always really satisfying, I think, to see those Milia air conversions. And uh, you can definitely see that. I think Hot Dog definitely knows how to um, pilot Milia. He knows what she's capable of, knows what she can do, and just almost... Uh, the mixes are just so crazy. You know, all these command dashes, using two, using one, using... I mean, I haven't seen the... We haven't seen three yet, but we'll see what happens. Get right back in the game. We'll see what happens. I just realized also both of these people are uh, playing the red colors. They are going full violence. The defensive throw. This is the first back throw that I think has actually hit Lil Hot Dog, which has got to be a little upsetting because I feel like they've been trying so hard to like bait him out previously. But it's all good. All right. Oh, that 2H. If there was any more blood in that, oh, that was being oh, Millia for sure. Man. Oh, no. I'm just going to have to use the burst. Definitely put in a pretty compromising position. And oh, no. Uh, you know, you can pilot Millie, you can't be piloting Ow. these hair cars. Like oh my god! Wait, no, you are seen too early! Okay, it's okay. Allowed. <laughs> you didn't have to do that. I think the throw was just gonna kill her. <laughs> oh my god, the meatiest hair call of our time, and it worked. And this is that air-to-air -air conversion we are talking about. Bad Moon's gonna be putting down. Nago, seven, not a hard knockdown, but he's able to keep pressure up with 2K into 2K 2D. Yeah, breaking the wall. It's looking good. Wow, Disc actually beating Round Star Beyblade. The defensive throw from Jordan. Nothing oh, for it. Gotta block some more, man. buddy. How much you got in you? RC, the 6K a little too far oh. away. The FT was messing her up, but finds the 2K. Okay, last round. And, oh, man. Getting a perfect this deep in the set. That's... It's gotta do a number, but we'll hope that Jordan is able to. And I don't know. It feels kind of weird, you know. I'm a, I'm a, I'm a Milia player, but this is this is pretty even. I'm kind of, kind of want to see Jordan get the revenge match. <laughs> it, little hot dog, I may be a Milia fan, but you've won too much tonight. Let's go, Jordan. <laughs> <laughs> oh no! Big two H connected. Oh. I'm telling you, dude. Little hot dog, oh, playing with fire. Hit right Are there. you dead? No, that should have been super. I think, I think oh, she would have been. If that was a super, she would have been dead. And honestly, though, like, Ooh. yeah, at that point, Naga's chip damage is just going to, it's just going to be really scary, especially as a melee. You're going to be taking so much damage uh, if you're not FD in a lot of those. It's so much damage. It racks up so quickly there. We're going to see Jordan go two on the board. It is first to three again, everybody. So let's see. A little hot dog would have to win two in a more, two in a more, two in a row to run this back. Are you, are you a hot dog fan, chat? Or are you a Jordan fan? Who do you want to win? Who do you want to get the W here tonight? Let me see a chat. I gotta, I gotta, I gotta see who I'm working with. What's that? Is do a working more. Generic soda's dropping the hot dog emote. But yeah, I forgot Ares had a hot dog emote. That is correct. Okay. And oh man, going for the their cart into the uh, the burst. Very bold play, and Milia showing off her her real strong block string offense. <laughs> but able to just kind of use those JHs, and uh, honestly, I think JH is definitely one of Milia's best buttons, and Hot Dog is definitely trying to make it work. Okay, manages to get the little bit of a cheeky reset there with the delayed mash. I love to see it. So Jordan now stuck in the corner. The high connects. Little Hot Dog doesn't get to do winger, though. Just lets the second hit of the close slash rock. This could be hair car RC. This could be a lot of different stuff. The 2S hits. Oh, man. And Naga's going to start taking pressure right here. Putting Milia on the defensive. The Septim's going to be Ow. coming out, hitting. And that's going to go into a hair car. And it's just going to take one more hit with a blue RC JH. Milia's going to be taking round. Yeah, I think that uh, the little hot dog has been doing. A oh no! A little hot dog has been doing a real good job at like adapting to Nagoriyuki 2H by just doing weirdo stuff right above his head, RCing, and then getting the sickest punish. Right, Nagoriyuki is like minus seven thousand on whiff there, so you get a free punish. Mm -hmm. So little hot dog trying their best to play around it. You saw there again a whiff on 2H, even though they didn't get a punish, they did get initiative. Hair car. Well, listen, sometimes it's oh no, the I, I don't think they're gonna be drifting. But it looks like they're gonna be throwing right back into the mix machine. Brace is gonna be coming out. Uh, go to be told to get right behind Naga. Just throw abilities out and oh no, this is not where you want to be. All it's going to take is a combo from Nago in this situation. And looks like Naga's definitely keep pressure up. Is oh, no, is it sadly going to drop the pressure? Wait! And gonna blood pop! Yeah, gonna pop. Wait, this is actually super bad for Hot Dog in some ways. Jordan can't take any more chip. Okay, you managed it, but now the, he's just going to be splitting. But the clash on the 6P! Hair car manages to barely beat the Fuku. Hot Dog is going to tie it up 2-2. Two to two. Oh my god, dude. And that is, that's a bold hair right there. But listen, sometimes you got to create it. It's going to, it's going to, Fuku. Guys clash, you know, Nago. 
people push another button. You gotta, you gotta, you gotta hit a car. You gotta run them over. You gotta run them over. Sometimes you just gotta get in the car, hit them with a little bit of the, you know, make it happen. <laughs> yeah, exactly that. Good to see you right now, everybody. We're going into Whoever wins this is gonna go on to fight GGs in the grand finals match. Hot dog, pay attention, match. Dude, yeah, hot dog, type in a Twitch chat, beep beep. <laughs> Stop listening to us. Ooh, get it, bro. We actually haven't even seen it as we get into these uh, these higher uh, matches. And oh man, the five on out. Gonna get first. Oh. Six people. He's eating birds. Not in a bad place to be. Rather than Milia. Oh no, getting sick by the 2H. Fukio's cut and I'm so. <gasps> Pop it in there it is. Is gonna reach her. Jordan almost has 50 bucks. You can see just. Chilling, walking around. Now gonna reset. Has all of this meter. Just gonna send a clone at her to try to pin her down. Oh, the cross up disc. Yeah, he didn't have any life, man. That was gonna be rough. Hey, hot dog's on match point, Jin. Alright, dog. Don't let her get to you. But on his dog's been really confusing. Like a dash into the threat. And. You know what? This is, this is it. This is Millier. You know, you're able to. Grab before your uh, H disc goes off. He's gonna have to break the wall. Naga's looking pretty. <gasps> oh no! Beyblade totally stuff. Not a wall break. Jordan's got a prayer. No, he doesn't. Oh, Nobody heard. Man. And just like that, Lil Hot Dog is gonna take it. Three to two. Jordan is gonna be going out in big third place. Lil Hot Dog is moving on to grand finals, everybody. Which does bring us to our first graduation ceremony of the chat if you're here you know what to do if you've not been here before you're gonna find out what to do pretty quick so really quick everybody pull out your 07s in chat because i want to say jordan kicks ass you made it all the way to the big uh losers finals match there against a little hot dog your nemesis the person that put you down into losers made one of the longest losers runs possible went down there in the second round of winners you had to play a lot of gear tonight you were absolutely cooking and in fact you know what i think you cooked a little bit too much i never want to see you again thank you very much for playing jordan you are banned for life from beginner bracket ggs thanks for playing we'll see you never again we're gonna be moving on to see ggs squaring off against lil hot dog are y'all ready are you ready jen i'm ready and you know i just want to throw it out there real jordan big respect making it through the Viking gauntlet that, Dude. that's tough man yeah, I mean, after cutting through all those bikins, it's like, how much more could you have left in you? That was exhausting. Exactly. <laughs> Dude, I respect it, but good job, Jordan. I'm proud of you. Congrats on third place. Congrats on being banned. But we've got... Oh, we got a good map here. We got a good match and a half. It's going to be Lil Hot Dog versus GG's. GG's has been a regular. Has always been, like, the shadow chip. They're going to be waiting up on the winner's side of the bracket. They're not in the shadows anymore. They've had character development off camera. Now they're like... Listen. What? And and this is this is the last that both of them are going to be playing in this Beginner Cup. So... Yeah. I think both of them are going to be going out with a bang. And they, they I'm want hoping that to get someone... I want good team here. Chip's going to be checking with the far slash. And... Oh, man. And already going to get the pressure, but the 60s is going to catch the Rekka. With the beta blade coming out, getting the burst out. <gasps> Sakugan going and getting tipped by the uh, H disc, but yeah, Sakugan actually got hit. It just flew straight into the disc. That was so doofy. But now getting some of that classic chip mix going again. Milia six P dude, it is cursed. It will always just hit people on the ground. But oh my god, bro, they are not playing gear. They're oh, playing Microsoft man. Flight Simulator. Honestly, man, this is oh god, purple ice is coming out. Chip's gonna be able to hit that. Not gonna be able to go for the grab, but gonna be. Gonna be bursting the 2D, not wanting to get hard knocked down by Milia, knowing that that's gonna be Milia's game. Uh, winning condition, able to get, block most of this, not able to block Loki, gonna get hit and be juggled. And not enough to break the wall. Gonna YRC gonna pop her off there, but it's actually not too bad to get YRC there for Hot Dog, right? You know, you can you didn't let him oh, get the plus frames. Do you got these? No, he doesn't, but the 5k oh. meaty. You know, you know, there was a winger there. You know, there was a winger, and it just happened not to come out. Oh, and that was. Oh, that was good, and you know, that's what it's going to come down to. You know, I feel like a lot of this set is going to come down to one touch interactions, both of them trading blow for blow back and forth. Oh, and you can see there, Hot Dog getting 
getting used to the DP, not gonna get the wall breaking. Not, maybe not a bad idea, but... And the pressure up. <gasps> oh, what a burst block! I think they were just trying to block a DP and they happened to block a burst. <laughs> Oh, the Rose actually winning out in that air dash exchange. And now Lil Hot Dog landing that cross up. The toes exposed. Oh. GG's been really on the defensive back foot. The hair car oh, hit! The hair car! Bro, these meaty hair cars need to be stopped. No time to winger. GG's has zero health. I don't know. I think they could do it. I think you got this, GG's. This comeback is coming. All right, GG's. Looking good. Well. And oh, no. And, you know. That's 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 just a 50-50. Hot dog did a lot of 2K 2D, not following up with the uh, the S disc, but using it that one time, uh, not sure if they got caught by it or if it was chip damage. That did a little bit of chip damage. Well, I think that round it did a lot of chip damage as hot dog takes. The that wasn't a commentator's curse. I just always if the chips are down figuratively, figuratively, like if uh if someone's about to lose, I'm always just like I believe. I'm always just rooting on the side of the unlikely. I'm you just. Leave. I'm an optimist. Oh man, 6P kind of hit. Uh, yeah, you're right. That's 6P. It's not an anti air tool for me. It's, it is a. Just checks people coming up and. Uh, kind of an odd uh, H disc there. Lilia is going to be coming out of the corner, but it's alright. She's going to be building her pressure. And uh, Gigi's is kind of struggling to cut these blocks. As Milia. Looking Ooh. like she's actually doing some damage. We're going to move back. Going to get wire. Is he going to get 2KD? Into the sushi sukiyaki. Oh, the sushi sukiyaki. Okay, he manages to get the air gatling there to try to bring him back down to the ground. Uh, Gigi's has just not been able to really pin down Hot Dog. These hair cars have to be stopped. They're minus 700. Oh you can't just God. do them, brother. Yeah, Dr. Don pulling her back down to the corner. Hot Dog has not been really oh a Sakugan victim. Ah! Ah! Bullets, I can't cut. They're moving too fast. It's obvious <laughs> this <laughs> might kill the Milia. This might kill the Milia. No, 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 it's not. She's not dead. She's not dead. She's living. Oh, Little Hot Dog man. now has 50 meter. This could be a hair car RC. This could be. Oh, that <gasps> Mirage Winger. Wait. Win. Okay. Oh, blocked it this time. It. They weren't. They did not fall for the mix. No, they got anti air. The Peter Boy misses. God, wait, they're still alive. <laughs> not able to punish the Linger landing so far away. Oh, man. Millie is surviving with by the. I feel like the chi only Chip's theme could fit this match. You know what I mean? Honestly, like, dude. Like, it had to be Chip theme. Nothing else. <laughs> the Chip theme plays. I start going 15 over the speed limit. You know, but maybe I too much of a power. No, that should have been something. Okay, oh it's okay. Manage to clean it up. God. Get the boys in here. Milia taking hits from three guys right now. And that's that's perfect. Yeah, Jimmy, uh, Timmy, and Timmy round. all coming in to help out. <laughs> JD pushing her back into the corner. Okay, you got to hold this bonsai for me. The Sakugan. The, she, dude, it is bold to try to walk up throwing a matchup oh. where you're both holding just up on the joystick. Honestly, man. But, you know, I'm, I'm surprised, you know, we're, we're not seeing too many air-to-air -air conversions. We're not seeing too many air throws, even though a lot of them, you know, they're spending about 50% of the match into the air. And Chip is going to get Amelia into the corner. And, okay, yeah, I was about to say, if you're not going to burst that, that's going to be scary. Go to, go, to, go to get the burst. And Winger coming out once again. The Winger bitch. Yeah, and manages it now is familiar. They're able to block it, but Hot Dog's got no more meter. That's gonna be an RC on that oh. bonsai. They should be dead. Just do something, please. No, you had oh, to do no. something. No, no. Hot Dog. Ah, oh, oh, GG's. Oh, GG's, you can't be trapped, this man. No, oh. <laughs> that was that could have been anything, dude. That could have just been RC again, and then just hit every button on your controller at once. Ah, oh, like, man. Could have been the the Fujiyama Gations. Could <laughs> anything, but I think Gigi's getting a little maybe getting a little flustered there. Yeah, maybe Gigi's is kind of feeling the pressure getting to them. It is grandy old finals right now, and I, you know maybe Little Hot Dog is one of those players where you put the heat to them and they just kind of get better. You know, they, which is always scary. Little Hot Dog is looking real like playing like they're big chilling oh, in a tower lobby. Man. You know what I mean? <laughs> Oh, and the gold burst coming out, you know, getting that, like you said, that, that, that fire slash from Chip is so good for checking, but going to be able to get the block, uh, going to still get 2k 2 deed, and, ooh, Millia's going to be actually dropping that, but, <laughs> that was, oh, that was a funky happening? drop from Hot Dog to just go to space there by accident. Oh, man, and this is going to be a fat combo. Yeah, that's a ton. That's a, see, just keep it simple, right? Get the wall break, get the damage you can, get that positive bonus. Sakugan, good mash from Hot Dog after that. After block Sakugan, it's usually you can kind of just hit buttons. 
But well, now holding it down, trying to block for dear life. YRC, my turn. These black nice. beat lows. <laughs> oh my god, another winger mix up. And oh yeah. No. Oh, and the PRC. You know what? I really want to see more six P's coming out of Chip. I think that. What? Oh, good beta blade and. Oh, the G2K makes up works. Oh, okay. Man. Jin, Hot Dog is one round away from resetting this whole bracket. All right, Hot Dog, keep it cool, keep it cool. But, oh, man, Chip's, Chip is not happy. Chip's going to be coming out with the Rekkas. Going to be tossing Millia, and within six seconds, going to be taking out about two thirds of Millia's bar. Going to have to burst to get rid of that pressure. Ooh, but no conversion. Right back in the corner. And honestly, here, oh, what a 6P. That was insane. That was so good. That's a beta blade. That's you have these? Do you have these GGs? GGs, do you have these? These nice. got those. Nice. That's what I'm saying. If you don't know what to do to close out the combo and kill, just keep throwing money at it. <laughs> it works. Dude, dump all those RCs. Throw out whatever. It works. It works. You get it. And, and oh, man. Yeah. GGs is definitely able to learn how to get these, this pressure going. And Milia, what is Milia even able to do? And Fuji Amagation bringing out the boys. Going to send Milia through the wall. Call her the Kool-Aid man. She's Jimmy, Jimmy, and Timmy going to add another sick two damage to that combo, but is going to let GG's get this Oki. Push little hot dog all the way to the corner. Oh, you got the hit. What a good anti you got another and hit. Is she dead? She is. God. GG's is staying alive, preventing that reset. And, oh, man, GG's looking nasty that round. GG's is feeling nasty. I got to say, I had the idea. That if Lil Hot Dog reset the bracket, I was going to rename them to Lil Glizzy, but I'm like, nah, because I don't want to actually mess with their name. But just so you all know, that was the reference. Or that was the joke I was going to make. But for now, yes, we can just keep saying he got the hot dog in him. I didn't see the first 20 times. Keep saying it, chat. Maybe I'll see it sometime. <laughs> just kidding. It's 2 1 right now. Lil Hot Dog is currently in the lead. Big oh, part of the burst. The burst. We're not able to get too much off of it. going to get back this disc. Oh, what a good alpha blade. Able to catch the melee and. Oh man, chip, chip, chip gaming is happening. Not giving any room to breathe. Oh man, go to get out the red RC. Go to get the cross up with the alpha blade. Go to get another alpha blade. And what are you doing here? Just getting grabbed. And it's gonna come down. And boss interaction. And Bro. Oh my god, GG's. The 6k whiffed and they did a low. Holy smokes. Huh. They, okay. If GG's actually runs us back like three games straight, I'm gonna scream. I'm gonna scream. It's happening. Oh my god. Dude, Gigi's decided, Hot Dog, you've played enough Guilty Gear tonight. I'm not going to let you play anymore. And this is going to be... Oh, my God. She's dead. Oh, that didn't even break the wall. What happened to her? And... Oh, my... It's two to two. Literally, what happened? Bones, we didn't even get to the chorus of the song. <laughs> we didn't do, to do anything. Bro, it's like I was like, I'm going to rename the Lil Glizzy. And then they were just like, Lil Glizzy was my father. <laughs> not, they don't get that title. <laughs> like, Making sure that hot dog stays Lil. Not letting no room for growth for the million. That's what I'm saying. Like, anything. literally 30 seconds ago, it was 2-0. And it is now 2-2. Two two. Gigi's got all his momentum. But this round star 6P may be going to put the ice on that momentum just a little bit. Oh, man. And... Nice, getting the burst, and now this is where Hot Dog has to do something. This is where Hot Dog use their resources, has to do something and nice. <gasps> get it. Oh, Didn't man. get the punish no. on it, though. That burst was so Canadian, but the punish was very Chicagoan. Able to get a lot of damage oh, here. Not quite man. a wall snap yet. Did they commit? Oh. No, they're chilling. Oh, Hot Dog. What? That was a little far away for the tap dust. Our mix up. Still got 50 bucks though, gotta be a little concerned. What is there? What are they gonna do? Air conversion? Oh, the hot dog oh, has it. That's a very good conversion. <gasps> yeah, I see. Oh, 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 hot dog is. Uh, hot. Like oh, there's no, not gonna be any red RC coming out. Gonna have to lucky for a little bit longer. Purple is going out. Oh! Okay, the PRC air throw. Lil Hot Dog is now one round away from knocking GG's into the loser's bracket, resetting this whole damn thing. Can they do it? Or is GG's gonna try to stop this right now? See, they're playing pretty conservative. We're we gonna get the six feet into the hair car. Honestly, you know, hair car pretty safe punish it. Oh, the gold person about to start game. But is he gonna get hit by the cross up? Oh my! God. Are they gonna get mixed? Okay, they're staying in the front. Little hot dog with the PRC. Hot dog, gone. They have no more meter. They've got no burst, Jin. Oh man! No, oh, no burst. This is guilty gear gaming. We are in like a. Oh, third hit of the wreck is gonna miss. Not gonna be too much. We're gonna take KTD and oh. Oh, comes the Millia mix. It's going to drop the combo. Go to the throw. No. Oh, it's going to come up to. Beta Blade. Beta Blade. And this Damage. could be a no. huge punish. Oh, this is the Alpha Blade. Sorry. 
Why? Up, you, think I up, you need one more success. And boom! Oh, what a punish to the beta blade, dude! She was also just big chilling up there. How's it going, Chip? Slap you back down to earth. We got a reset, Let's everybody. Go, baby. Little Glizzy. Oh man. Little Glizzy. Glizzy coming out. It is now. Graduating from a hot dog to a Glizzy. Oh, man, dude. Here we go. Okay. So, for GG's right, I think Lil Hot Dog was able to just kind of get the uh, the pressure going a little bit there. I just hope, is GG's momentum disrupted, or will they be able to run it back? I am surprised that they went for that round start 5H. Lil Hot Dog done had Ben representing round start 6P. That is brave. Gets these Rekkas, a little bit of damage. Lil Hot Dog is a hold-up back kind of gamer, let me tell you. <laughs> oh, for sure. And, like, oh, man. Dude, you know what this ma this matchup really is? Just whoever gets your first, it's you can't do much. You know, Chip has the blade, but oh, very good block. But it's going to oh, nice. He's going to be catching what? off the blade, but it's going to be sent right back in the corner. Stop the guns coming out. Two K two. Missing the record with the purple ice and another two K, but not going to fall off with the two D. What? <laughs> Wait, why? <laughs> <laughs> you were winning. <laughs> I'm telling you, ch still challenging these round start 6Ps. It is dangerous to do so. Gets the beta blade off. Obviously does not have any burst or anything. Gets the Sakugan, the 6Ks. Okay, so this is going to be huge, right? Get the boys in here. Bimmy, Jimmy, and Timmy. We're going to be able to break the wall and get a little bit of Oki. Little Hot Dog does have burst, though. Yeah, and Little Hot Dog... What? Oh, you, okay, man, usually the reason you get the boys in there is to get Oki. Why did Gigi just walk up to her slowly? <laughs> you know, that's a good question. I wish I could answer <laughs> <gasps> oh no, million! That's not the person you want to be throwing out. But it's okay. He's going to get the 68 of the hair card. Getting the H disc out. That's kind of an H disc. Oh no! Six. I have never seen more beta blades in my entire life, Jin. <laughs> God, dude. And listen, those Millie, you know, at, she is susceptible to the DPS. You know, between volcanic, or yeah, volcanic viper. You know, all of those. They they kind of do some work down there. It, they're hitting. I mean, it's a large part of GG's damage. I feel like nerves are getting to both of our players at this point. I think they're both <laughs> starting to scramble quite a bit. <laughs> oh, for sure. You can definitely see that in these match states. It's it's kind of just... Oh, man, starting out with the burst. It's kind of just evolving into just an absolute slugfest. And, you know, that that's that's what's fun to watch. Yes. Oh, man. She's going to get a lot the of damage. very early wall break. Oh no! And RC? Oh, yes! And yeah, Millie is dead. This match dead. lasted 15 seconds, Bones. Jeez Louise. GG's is cooking. Can Little Hot Dog find their momentum? Again, they're jumping! I can't believe GG's is still doing Ground Star 5H! <laughs> that is unbelievable to me! Listen, if it. It's. <laughs> Dude, I don't. Yeah, anyway, <laughs> you can see here now, GG's is getting pressured. Uh, not gonna. Oh man, not gonna be going for the H disc there. Instead of opting for the uh, uh, ability, and and yeah, I think Chip is gonna nice. be dead here. Oh, right back oh at you. These rounds are flying by, dude. These characters absolute. Oh, <laughs> <not even laughs> flash cannon. See, that's what I'm saying. That's the adaptation, right? Now you sweep the leg. You're gonna try to six P me, two D, easy, straight in your face. GG's. Now exactly. busting out the other options. Nice, getting the burst out there and. Oh, they're this is this is kind of terrifying. RC? I think she's living, right? Oh, popped her out the other way by accident. She's gonna be going to the other side. I'm just going it out there. I would love to see a command grab from Gigi's. Gigi's hasn't. Gigi's hasn't done one the entire tournament. Entire tournament. Wait, what side is he on? Winger's gonna come out. Okay. Oh no. And listen, man grab, nah. It's 2-0. You don't need that. It's 2-0 already. I don't know. I think I think I think hot dog's been in the water too long. Definitely getting a little getting a little heated. Getting a little flustered, I think. And you know, kinda what before was super calculated play, knowing all of their options. It's it's getting put to the test. It's a stressful character to play against. I definitely do not blame them. Yeah, I mean it is they've been in this bracket for such a long time at this point, right? They've played so many video games. GG's is now up to... Oh, no. Oh, my God. You know what? what? Oh, man. There's by the million. Go to get the beta blade. And what Winger? Is it? With the Rebecca. And... Winger? Oh! 
Oh my god, immediate burst. Put you right back in the corner. Bonsai gonna Sakuga. Oh no, Sakugan we're Sakuga and brother. Get the boys in here. Bimmy, Jimmy, Timmy, and Todd. All right. Fujiyama Gishin set through. Going to get the hard act. Going to get the okay. Going to get the positive bonus. I'm going to start with the look. Look at and yeah. At this point, Shin kind of just established dominance. But it looks like oh man, that dog is not going to get dominated too easily. Going to be thrown up. Just in 2K 2D. 2K 2D wreck up. This is potentially the last. This is tournament point for GGs. Our little hot dogs. Oh. oh no, this is a bad start if you're hot dog. Oh man, hot dog already going to get whitey. But still, this is so scary. Being right in the corner. Gold burst. Nice guard. Big gold burst. Oh, wow. I feel like GG's got okay. mixed by that what once, and it has not oh. worked since. Working towards the other corner. Oh. GG's has 100 meter to accept this pressure. Gets the 2D. This should be it. And I think yeah. GG's is going to get the boys in. Oh, That's going to be it. With boys. GG's is going to be your beginner cup champion for this, this tournament, everybody. GGs. But... Big shout out to Lil Hot Dog. They did manage to reset the bracket. They can definitely say they made GG's bleed. But real quick, everybody, you know what it is. You know what we got to do. You know we got to send off our players here. So everybody, please bust out your 07s at this point to our lovely uh, second place finisher tonight, Lil Hot Dog, a.k.a. Lil Glizzy. You made it. So far in this bracket, the Millia mix was popping off. Jin was a huge fan. She she was all about it. Oh, you know man. her. Uh, big fan of the whole Millia mix. I thought your mix was on point and you were cooking. Your addiction to the wingers is both vile and also inspirational. And for that, you are banned permanently from Beginner Cup bracket. Thank you very much for playing. Get the heck out of here in big second place. First place. G G's G G's. I feel like you've been kind of an understated storyline in these brackets. You've been playing like almost every week, finishing out in top eight, but just never able to clinch that top three spot. And then when you did, it wasn't a little top three finish. It was the big one. First place. And for your rapid rise to stardom, I can only punish you. You are banned permanently from Beginner Cup Bracket GG's. Thank you so much for playing. You are an absolute delight to watch. Jin Kitsu, thank you very much for commentating for with me tonight. Was there anything you wanted to say to the Chatteroonie? Anything to plug? <laughs> anything of that nature? Um, man, I just want to say thank you opportunity, Bones. This has been so much fun. This is the first time, you know, I've ever done commentary. First time I've ever been really to do this. And, dude, it was so much It was so much fun. I had such a good time. So many good matches tonight. So many hype moments. You know, we got the dragon installs. We got, we got like, 15 ways. We got so much good stuff. Um, but, yeah, in terms of things, like, I, I stream on Twitch. I, you know, not going to lie, was going to stream after this, but I got to rest my throat, man. <laughs> No, we were yelling. Um, I feel like you and I have a similar commentary style where we just start going like, bruh, 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 which is not good for yeah. the boys. <laughs> <laughs> you just get too hyped, man. But yeah, like, um, stream here on Twitch. Uh, it's basically what's on the screen without the underscore. Um, also, I've been trying to pump out some tube videos. Feel free to search me up on there. Um, got, some, got some fun stuff over there. So if you want to see tons of Guilty Gear content, and, you know, feel free to check me out. Uh, I'm pretty new to the community. Only been here about, what, a month or so? And I've, I've fallen in love with it. Guilty Gear is fantastic community. Fantastic people. Aw. I'm a game. It's, it's, it's good. I love it. <laughs> well, Jin, thank you again so much for being on. I'm going to let you get on with your night. So I will catch you later, okay? All right. Thank you. And have Laters. a good day. Laters. All right. Let me, let me find this somewhere on my desktop. Where's the... Oh, Joe. Hold on. Hold, please. There we go. Hello, everybody. We did it. Thank you so much, everybody, for watching. Thank you all for big hanging out. Oh, also, wait. Hold on real quick. Uh, Where is it? Wait, let's do, like, two times speed. Uh, Lost Soul, you're banned. <laughs> Uh, for the record, in case you wanted to know, uh, Umi Show, you're banned. Uh, John Tentene, hey, you're banned too. Uh, who else? Uh, everybody's banned. <laughs> if, if you if you were at Evo and I said hi to you, you're banned. <laughs> this is it's real easy. 
Uh, all right. Thank you, everybody, very much for watching. I'm going to go ahead and play the outro and also thank all of the wonderful... Um, thank you, all, all the wonderful people who followed tonight. I will pass you over to give you the big thanks. So we're going to switch over to that. Okay, yeah. And we will play our little mm. outro movie. As soon as I find out where it is. Nope, that's not it. Oops, yeah, let's get Rob back up on the screen. All right, hold on, I'm just going to add it again. My, dude, I need to clean up my OBS one of these days. It is an absolute disaster. All right. Thank you very much. Wait, no, no not, not double speed. I won't have enough time. Thank you very much to the following people. Thank you so much for the big support. Retro Big Dingo, Vea Yip, Certainly Not Cheshire, Kubies, Blue Pegasi, Buddha's Embrace, Chuckly Fun, Labeep, Languid Magpie, Vicarious, uh, JD for the big sub, for Blink, D Da MJ Karase, Whiskey for the big sub, Smash House, Nigerian Bucket, Blue Cheese, Super Vinny 25, Raya Awa, Fake uh, Strange, Zile for the big sub, Honey Smacks, Kenny Patron, Fuzzy Dine, Red Muffler Man for the big sub, Doink for the big gifted sub, the generic soda, Friend Weave for the big follow, Golden Mira, Mystery Devious, Northern Lights, Big Boy Fargo for the 20 months, Snydem, Mango Scent, the Critic of Innocence, Flam Octopus for the big sub, Clover Inari, Flannel, Mandrogo for the big prime, Ryuko, Synips, uh, Sy Sinispa, Reminisce, 3D Scorpion, Saf FG, Own, Oh Snow HD, Punk Rock Princess, Prosperous Hope, and Saber Maxwell. And remember, everybody, no matter how hard it gets, we will always have Uno. <laughs> Thank you all so, so much for watching. Thank you again, Jin, for being a part. Uh, did somebody ask me a question? I feel like somebody did, and I just totally missed it. No, I don't think so. Um, I'm going to make a new bracket after this. If uh, you're looking for the VOD, I'm going to upload it to YouTube also right after this. It'll probably be up there in like an hour or two because it takes a while to upload. Um, when is the VOD posted? I upload it right after I'm done. Uh, but it takes like an hour or two or three to process on YouTube. So you, know, you know how YouTube be sometimes. Let me find a raid. Where y'all going? Where am I sending y'all tonight? Let's see. Cody's streaming. Yeah, I'll send y'all a Cody. I will send y'all over to Cody for sure. Everybody say hi to last Cody for me. Say what is good. Also, thanks for stopping by. I appreciate you, gamer. Everyone go uh, hang out with Cody. I will catch y'all next time. <laughs>